on. Let's see how's this going. Pretty good. Okay, well, I have a whole bunch of pennies to go through. Oh, it seems kind of weird. I've tried to angle it different so I could get... Oh, can I get this on too? Hang on one second so that I can see the chat better. Okay, there we go. Got it going, I think. All right, well, I have these to go through right here. It's a whole bunch of what's left of my pennies. Um, I found a lot of good ones already. So I'm excited to go through the rest of them because I did find an Indian, Indian head that was worth like, um, let's see, how much was that? I think seven bucks. Let's see if I can find it in here. Yep, here's one that I found already. So I figured I might as well go live and do the rest of them. I was pretty excited about this one. Ooh, if I can get that right. I had to wait a little bit because my eye kept twitching. <laughs> okay, let me see the chat. Hi, Bald Eagle. Hi, Peter. How you doing? I'm going to go through these. I want to finish these up because I got to go cash in those half dollars. And I want to go cash these in too. Oh, I actually found it the other night. I started this two nights ago. And then I decided after I found some good ones that maybe I should just go live to finish it up. Because, you know, I might find something else good. You never know. Yeah, I found an Indian head. Um, four Wheaties already. I've got, actually, oh, I don't want to move the camera though because I just got the tripod all set up to try to get it right so you can see the table a little bit too. But yeah, I found that Indian head and four Wheaties so far. This thing was, the bucket was just about full. Yeah, it wasn't a box. This is actually change that my boss gave me. It was a birthday present. He gave me, it was, I think it was almost about $2,000 altogether in change. It was pretty amazing. I only found one silver dime out of all the silver, like the quarters, nickels, and dimes. But I did find a lot of really good pennies so far. So I also found, I guess I'll show off what I found so far. This one is a 1955D. I'm going to make a video of it later. But I found that weedy along with that Indian head. And then we also got a 19, this one's pretty old. Oh, I should have I forgot. I got this right here. Huh, light. This one is a 19, I think 13. Trying to see it better. Make sure that's a. It's hard to tell. Double dime the 55. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, hang on. I need a pen. That's the one thing I forgot to grab. I should mark that down so I don't forget to check for that. Okay, hang on one second. My purse is right over here, and I should have a pen in there. So. Okay, let's see. Yep, I got a pen right here. I'm gonna write that down so I don't forget to check for that 1955 because. Yeah, it'd be awesome to find a double die. Check. Five, four, double die. Okay, got that written down now. Woohoo! Yeah, the other one that I found this one is definitely a 1913. Weedy, this one's really old. Woohoo! I was excited about that. I love finding an old weedy. Next one is a 1945. And the last one is a 1944. And it's got a mint mark and it's very hard to see. And this thing is all dirtied up. Hang on. Got a bunch of little squishy marks on there. Best tool for coin roll hunting? Oh, I know. I do need to buy one of those. Definitely. Ooh, for lights of my eyes. This one is a... Yeah, I do. I need to get a book because I just have like broken down stuff that I found online and sometimes it, I don't think that's the greatest. Let's see. This one is a 1944 what? This magnifying glass sucks. I can't lie about that. I think I can see it better without it. Okay, maybe I can't. I don't know. It looks like an S, but I don't think it is. It might just be a D. But this is the other one that I found so far. So, moving on. Oh, I got to organize those. Though. I don't want them to get mixed up. I have little piles over here of everything that I found so far. I found two 2009, the commemorative Lincolns. I found a 2017P. Um, I also found, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Canadians so far. So, I'm going to just start going. And we'll see what else I find. Hopefully, I find something sweet. So I got a little bucket here to throw the nose in. I still have my stack of half dollars right here. <laughs> we double checked all of them after the video just to make sure I didn't miss two. Not anything, not silver or anything like that, but just two check ones. So that was about it. But I had a lot of fun yesterday. I can't believe we found silver yesterday. That was so exciting. <laughs> Hi, coin and card hobbyist. How's it going? Oh, 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 and right away, I found another weedy. <laughs> Let's see what this one is. This one is a 1944. Another weedy to add to the pile. Woohoo! That's exciting. So how's everyone doing this afternoon? It's a little chilly here. I don't know. Well, I shouldn't say chilly. It's not hot. <laughs> Still having my coffee. I slept in today because I ended up staying up late last night getting another editing app thing and having fun with that. <laughs> 
All right, moving along. Well, we found another weedy right away, so that was exciting. Okay, so I have, oh, I should have made a different pile. I, of course, keep all my copper. Oh, I am, I am. Well, this is his, like, okay, so my boss saved his change for 15 years. And that's what he gave me for my birthday present. So there's a lot of old things in here. I expected to find a lot more silver, though, so that was a little disappointing. But the good thing is, is I'm creating, I'm getting all of us the state quarters and state parks, like me and all my kids. So I almost have the whole collection complete now with really good coins too, like not all scratched and dinged up. So that was very exciting for me. I think I've only got like four or five more to go. Well, not the state parks, but the actual states. I've got almost all of them now. So that is super duper exciting. 1969, I wish this magnifying glass was better. I'm trying to see if this is an S. I'm pretty sure that's one I'm supposed to check. I'm gonna put this one to the side. I think it's a 69 S. I think there's a couple different errors or something in the 69 through 70 or 71. So I gotta check those with my scope later. Hopefully I do that tonight. Hi chef, how you doing? <laughs> Searching through my pennies because I wanna get this done and turned in. It's the last of the change hoard that needs to go in. 79, copper, put that over there. Yeah, Cassidy is taking a nap right now, so I figured this would be something for me to do while I'm sitting around. See, that's copper. I figured I'd go live with it since I, I don't know, it's been a long time. You know, we only did one yesterday, so I was like, well, I better go live some more. 83, that's a check. I need my little piles over here. Yeah, I know, I was like out of the loop for a while, and then I got back into it. Another check one. I'm excited to be back, though. Ooh, 1992, that's a check. And our big fun time is done, waterfront's done. That was so crazy with the kids though, oh my gosh. Alexander and Ashlyn, now that Ashlyn like runs too, yeah, they both, whoop, opposite directions. <laughs> so we didn't, actually didn't stay too, too long at waterfront just because it was very hard. We ended up down at the park down there most of the time because, oh man, those kids get crazy. Oh, that's okay. She was glad that you let her know. She's like, oh my gosh, I'm never ever wearing that again. <laughs> oh, I missed that. I gotta look over here for the comment, but then I got sidetracked by a penny. Eight years later, it's all finished. <laughs> I know, I started mine a while ago too, and then I was like, man, it's kind of hard collecting them just through like your change, but once I got that, all that change from, oop, I just, oh God, it didn't fall on the floor. Oh, it only landed on the chair. But yeah, I know, and uh, it's exciting actually. I'm excited because I got the P and the D, and yeah, like I said, I basically got all of them done for me and I got three kids, so that's four sets. <laughs> Beach? Oh. I was gonna say, let me read that again. It must be hard to pronounce. Oh, at the beach, yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I should do one at the beach, though. That's when my video I got the most views. I was like, hmm, I wonder why. Swimsuits, maybe? <laughs> That's okay though, 1984, that's a check for the double die ear, I believe, am I right on that one? I gotta check my list. And of course I don't even see it on there. Ashlyn kind of took a little bite out of it. <laughs> well, I don't know, you guys can't see that, but there's a bite missing right there on my list, because, yep, she got a little hungry. <laughs> okay, let's see, nope, not quite proper. Summer is coming close to an end. There we go. We got a copper. <sighs> it was fun. I don't want school to start again. I like having Cassidy home. You know, I know she's excited because she usually goes to the DAR after school. Oh, almost put it in the wrong pile. But she hasn't gone this summer because we do a lot of things. So I just picked up two boxes of half dollars today. Might do live stream later tonight. Do a late night with legal event. No margaritas, but definitely beer. Oh, I don't like beer. Ugh. Usually I don't eat, like margaritas too much either because I usually only drink crown. Oh my god, I found another weedy. Oh, another one. Did you see that? What's this one? 1935. See, oh, I love these pennies. These are good ones. That's probably because they're a 15 year old, well, 15 years and up stash. Yeah, my boss gave it to me for a birthday present because, well, they're kind of, he's well off and his kids won't go turn and change. So he's like, I know you'll appreciate it because you still collect coins. I was like, yes, I do. So I ended up with all these. I got a copper and a check one. I was so happy too. Good luck. Yes, you are. I know. Bring on the good luck. Ooh, stir the pot. <laughs> okay, I got a 
line these up. That's kind of weird not having them rolled because you gotta. I like to line them up in my hand then. Well, if you do do a live stream later tonight, I will definitely try to stop on and check you out because, yep, got to support our fellow coin hunters. <laughs> copper. Oh my gosh. Lots and lots of copper. I got a huge pile over there of copper. Maybe in a little bit I'll move the camera. I just don't want to try to reposition it and get it right again because that was kind of a pain in the butt. I know yesterday I didn't, I should have moved my tripod up and angled it more like this because then it would work better because you can actually see the table a little bit too, but that's okay. Still learning. And, oh, looks like that's a check one. 83. I don't bring on all the good luck. I want to find another Indian head. I was so surprised because I don't think I've ever found an Indian head in pennies before. I just found one. So that was super exciting for me. Oh, don't mind me. I'm still having my coffee. Highlander Grog. <laughs> was like, come on, Wheaties. Come on, another Indian head. I'd be so happy with that. I know I've actually got some shout out videos to do tonight too, so I will be doing those and hopefully get them posted by tonight. Ooh, that's a gross one. I think that one was in the ground for a while. <laughs> 86, that's my birth year. 79, perfect. I'll probably do it after half dollar make you holler live stream. You should check that out. Oh, I know. I do go on there sometimes, actually. Like, my mom was the one who got me into all this, and that's what she started watching was the half dollar one, or half dollar make you holler. I, I watch them here and there still. It's a little hard, though. I got three kids, so my time is definitely kind of limited. They, My two youngest ones go with their dad. We do four days on, four days off. So I do get a little break there where I get to catch up on laundry, cleaning, all that, and try to do some streams, so... <laughs> Okay, well, Bald Eagle, I will definitely try to check your stream out later. I will be watching, okay? Well, bye. Have a good afternoon. Hope you do something fun today. Copper, do do do. Yeah, so anything else fun happening in the YouTube world? I've been having fun learning how to edit. <laughs> 74, copper. Oh, and I'm feeling a little warm. I might have to go turn my air conditioner on. So I cannot read. 93, okay. I might actually go turn that on. It's probably because I just, I had a pickle today and that's it to eat. So I woke up late though. I slept in today. I was super tired. I ended up staying up until like 2 a.m. last night, even though I shunked up. But I did because I was having fun with this new editing thing. I don't know. Editing is, it's a lot of fun. I know I was talking to my friend Joey, the one whose band is that Our Last Vision. And he's like, I think I might need you to help me promote. And I'm like, oh, I will do that. I will take over and help you make videos and stuff. It's so much fun. And I do enjoy it now that I'm learning how to do it. In the beginning, it's frustrating. It's so frustrating because you're like, oh, I don't understand how to do this right. But I'm pretty much got it down now, I believe. Okay, put that back. Oh, is that a 60? No, 88. Okay. Put that away. 77 copper, 2006. Nope. Let's check in the chat. Oh, come on, Wheaties. Give me something good. Give me something good. Yep. No drinking today. It's too early. Just coffee. <laughs> and I actually kind of felt crappy, too, from those margaritas. Like I said, normally it's Crown Royal for me all the way. Oh, is that an S? Nope, that's a D. I thought that might have been an S one. Yep, I am going to go turn the AC on quick. It's really close to me, though, so I'll only be gone for like 0 0.2 seconds. So we're going to drop those over there. I'm going to go turn my AC on. I don't know. I'm getting warm. Like I said, I think it's just because I didn't eat very much and coffee. So I am back already. I'm right behind the camera. Or I should say, my phone. I should turn this off so I'm not wasting the batteries. Okay, well, I'm back. Now I got that on so I don't overheat. <laughs> Let's see, so let's hope we found another weedy. I can't believe I found two already. Like I said, this is a pretty good stash of pennies here. The only thing that I haven't found a lot on was the 2017 peas, but that's probably because most of these are older. Oh, dropping pennies already. I know, I can't wait to get through this. This is literally the end of the change that I got. So I'm super excited, and I want to thank my boss, too. Thank you so much, Red. Like, amazing. We got so much 
awesome things out of there. I'm so excited. And it also helped fund a lot of our fun this summer. <laughs> I bought my fireworks with this money, paid a couple bills, <laughs> and also extended my coin collection. Let's see what we got here. I'm dropping stuff. I know I couldn't do it right away because my eye kept twitching. It was really weird this morning. I was like, uh, oh, maybe I needed more sleep. Okay, nothing so far. 95, 89, 97, 99. I know there's a lot of them to check for. Like I have 97, double light year low, 1998P, wide AM reverse, but oh, I don't know if I can search through all of those. I just don't think I have quite the amount of time for that. So I'm only gonna search for the 82, 83, 84, and 92. And then of course I keep all the copper. So if there's anything in there, I can search through it later this winter. And if there is any major errors or double dies or anything, varieties that I should have broken down, please drop that in the chat and let me know because I will add it to my list. <laughs> like I said, some of them I just don't know like if they're, I don't know, really worth it because some of these I got from a list from a guy who put one on YouTube. So I was like, well, I don't know if it's just like very rare or something or I just don't have the time to search that much. Copper. Another copper. Let's see what we find. Oh, another copper. Yeah, it's, it's amazing the amount of copper I'm finding in this, but it's got to be because, like I said, this is a 15, past 15 year stash of coins. Oh, we got a weird blue one in here. Let's check that one out. Ooh, look at this one. <laughs> it's blue as blue can be. So I don't know what that, that's probably copper, but I don't know. We'll just throw it in there. I'm not sure about that one. 83, that's one that I do check. Oh, I did find one really cool. I wanted to ask you guys about it after. Let me find it. It looks like it is a proof to me. This is the other cool one that I found. It's a 1963 and it is so, so shiny. And it looks like really, I don't know if anybody knows about the proofs from 63. Were they, did they have a mint mark or anything? Cause I found this one and it is just beautiful. I mean, so beautiful and it's really like looks like it was struck extra times i'm pretty sure that's what they did with the proof so if anybody knows that that's a 1963 could that possibly be proof or was it just a penny that got put away because it is freaking beautiful <clears throat> nada let's grab another stack out of here line them up Ooh, i'm dropping them penny explosion it's not even from roll <laughs> and i can already see copper 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 one thing, my copper stash is gonna be huge. And you should save copper because those pennies are worth three cents instead of one. You triple your money. It's because of the copper content though, and technically we cannot melt them down yet or anything, but I still think you should save them. You never know, someday we might be able to, or once if they do allow it, that's what I think. If they allow the melting down of the pennies someday and you save your copper and you don't melt them, they'll probably be worth a lot of money then. Always trying to think that way. I got three kids, so I got three college funds I'm gonna have to start, so. <laughs> Gotta save anything we can. Six, let's see, 2003. Oh, I keep losing my voice. I think a little bit of lack of sleep there, but like I said, I slept in today, so I was making up for it. Anything. 80, we got copper, copper, copper. 83, that's a check. I believe 83 is a double. Uh, DDR on one cent. Double die reverse. 1973, yeah, so I was gonna say a couple little things. There are 11 different designs that were featured on the penny. I have a couple little things to talk about on here. Um, the Lincoln penny was the first cent on which appeared in God We Trust. A little tidbit of information for you. <clears throat> In 2017, the only year that they actually put the P on the penny, so you should save all those also. And the very first coin minted in the U.S., 1793, Lincoln, only portrait to face the right. <laughs> I know, I'm really hoping. One more Indian head and I will be so happy. I still can't believe the one that I found. Who was that in S? Nope, that's a D. Okay. thought that might have been an S one. I always put that one to the side. 83. That's a check for double die. Oh, that's a 93. Let's see. 1992. That's a check for the close AM. I believe in, yep, close AM on America. 
And I can't wait to actually scope most of these. I want to see if I got anything because I got a couple of those 19, I can't remember if it was 69 or 70s or maybe they both have weird things with them. But I know there's one that's worth a lot. I got all excited with the last time that I found a couple and they weren't any of the odd variety ones. But hey, you never know. It would be amazing if I could find something sweet. Cassidy's getting close to college age. She is, you know, turning 11 on September 11th. It's her golden birthday. That's a copper. So I'm super duper excited about that. Still trying to figure out <clears throat> exactly what we're going to do because she wants to go do something fun, like a water park or something. So we were thinking possibly the Dells, Wisconsin Dells. I don't know if any of you are from the, my area, but you know, Wisconsin Dells is like the place to go. The place to go. Nifty. Okay. So we're thinking about doing that, but oh my gosh, it definitely is a little expensive. But it's her golden birthday, so we gotta go all out. But I was almost hoping maybe she'd want to go to somewhere else, like a fun game place or something. I don't know if there's anything cool in Milwaukee that's a little different than what we have, because Milwaukee is a lot closer than the Dells. <laughs> 71, half a copper, let's see, 93, 87. That looks like it was copper, but definitely not, just a dirty one, 1991. 73, 77, okay, copper, copper. Come on, give me something good, 1980. Oh, 82, that's a check. I can't remember if the 82's gotta be, did I have it marked? No, I just have way marked down. I can't remember if it's gotta be a certain mint mark or not, so if any of you know, let me know, because I don't have that written down, and I would like to add it to it so that I have less to go through. I can't remember, what do I have for the 92? It's how close I am, I don't have a D or P wrote down either. Alrighty. Moving along, 67 copper, 1990, 95, <clears throat> oh my voice, I think my voice just wants to disappear and leave me lately, maybe that's a sign I was having a little too much fun, <laughs> no I'm just kidding, you can never have too much fun, 64 copper, so many coppers in these, it's amazing, 69, that's a D, no that's okay, 98, let's see, I'm guessing copper, 82, that's a check, and a 75 and a 99. Okay, another copper. Oh, wait, get another. Oh, I cannot wait to get through these. I know at first I was thinking I would never get through all my change that I got, but I totally did. I got motivated and I was like, yep, we're doing this. We're getting these done. Oh, pinching my glove. <laughs> I know, so I was thinking for the half dollar stream that I'm going to start trying to do it once a week. And I was thinking about doing a little theme to it. I don't know, it seems like it would make it kind of fun. Might, I don't know, I might not always be able to stick to the whole theme thing, but I was thinking it would be cool. I don't know, make it fun. Maybe we can do a toga night. No. <laughs> hey, hi Royce, how you doing? What's up, going through pennies. <laughs> Just going through pennies, found two Wheaties already, and then before when I had started this pile, I didn't go live and do it, I was just doing it myself, I found an Indian head and like one, two, three, four, four other Wheaties. So I'll show you the Indian head though, it's pretty sweet, I looked it up and it's worth about seven bucks, I think, in what condition it's in. It's not the best condition, but it's definitely not the worst, you can still see most of the details on there. I'll show that off again. It's a little dirty, but ooh, let's see if I can focus further back, there we go. And like if you look on the back, you can still read like the whole one scent and the shield's got the lines. Oops. Oh darn, I'm dropping one. Oh no, one's getting away. <laughs> okay. It's hard to get me. No, this is actually um, a hoard of change my boss gave me for my birthday. It was like almost $2,000 worth of change. There's his family, they're all really well off and his children wouldn't want to cash it in. They feel like they're too high up, I guess, to do it. So he said, I could have it. He's like, well, I know you'll appreciate it. It was so awesome too. The way he did it, he's like, oh, come here. I have some change for you. And in his little pantry, he's got, you know, like your flour and sugar little canisters. He's like, here, take this and dump that in that bucket. And I was like, oh, awesome. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, come back. And he's like, look at this. And then oh, the next canister and then the next canister and then two crystal vases full of change. I couldn't believe it. So I ended up with three, like five gallon buckets, about a third full because it's about as much as I could carry with change. Yeah, it was amazing. It was about $2,000 altogether. Where's the bills? 
<laughs> no, that's that's what I get for working. This was just for my birthday. <laughs> yeah, it was. I couldn't believe it. I'm so appreciative towards that though. Like it totally gave us money to have fun this summer and get everything caught up on, especially because I'm sure. Well, you all know if you have air conditioners. I got four in my house. Unfortunately, your electric bill can go sky high. <laughs> so. It's definitely helped me a lot this summer. Like I said, we were able to buy a whole bunch of really cool fireworks and everything. So I was super, super happy about that. And I actually am going to work on Thursday, so I get to thank him again and tell him that I almost got through. Hey! Hey, Silver Rally Rob! What's going on? <laughs> Just searching through some pennies today. <clears throat> Decided since I found something really cool before in here that I would go live and do this. This time. Oh, that's a D. Okay. Just making sure it wasn't an S. I'm at work boring. Oh, yeah. Work is boring. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Work. Yeah, I don't have to work all the time, so that's... I'm lucky and fortunate in that department. <clears throat> well, I could, but then I won't have time to do this on my lunch break, letting my pups out. Oh, your puppies! Yes, puppies are a lot of work. <laughs> I will say that. How many puppies do you have? Did you just get one, or do you have a litter of puppies? <clears throat> I keep having to clear my throat, and I forgot to grab water. All I have sitting here is coffee. Nada, nada, nada. Just finding copper so far. Oh, and I noticed I knocked my stack over. Sorry, I'm a little OCD when it comes to some things, I think. But no, I want my stacks right there and perfect. Don't knock over and get mixed up on me. That was a copper. Seven D, that's a D, okay. <clears throat> I actually just had to let Tilda in before I started because she was outside and I don't want her she's been digging holes in my backyard so I can't just let her run anymore unfortunately I do live like in the county but I'm literally three houses into the county that's it so I'm really close to town so I enjoy that it makes my life easy I get the country life but without actually living that far out like it only takes me a couple minutes to get to town <clears throat> three golden retrievers I actually have a male and a female who had puppies and I kept oh how cute yeah, it's kind of crazy. Tilda's actually, she looks like a black lab, but she is Chow and Golden Retriever. You can tell she's Chow because she jumps, sometimes when she jumps, all four legs go up like this. It's a really funny jump. <laughs> Mark, looks like it got squished. I think that's a D though. Oh, make sure. Oh no, it's 89. Okay, not copper. Never mind. Glad I looked at that one again. Oh, I know. I love, I love that situation. Honestly, it's perfect. Yeah, and I got almost three acres. It's like 2.8 something acres here. And yeah, it's, I love it here. I got a county, but close to town. I, uh, 69D, okay. Yep, I got it all the way back. Like we have railroad tracks behind me. Like my plot of land is kind of skinny, but it goes far back. And where I'm situated is really, really neat too, because there used to be a carnival across the street. And my old barn, which unfortunately we had to tear it down other than the blocks because the people who lived here before me decided to start a fire in there. So, yeah, when I moved here, it was supposed to be like an awesome finished house and all this stuff. And it was, it was a disaster. So we did a lot, a lot of work on this place. And it's still, I didn't do any of the finishing work yet, which is unfortunate. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, if you could see, like, I didn't finish, like, I got to put crown molding up still in all the rooms and stuff. Like, I got it partially finished in my living room, but I got all the stuff in the basement. It's just the motivation to get it done now, because now I got started on this YouTube. <laughs> hey, Mr. Dirty Nichols. <laughs> oh, I didn't even, sorry, I missed your comment before, but hi, Mr. Dirty Nichols. Found any good nickels lately? <laughs> Coins are gone. Okay, they're getting me funner. Yep, yes, they are. I know, right? And I don't know, it's just hard. It's hard to find the motivation to do that. I've got three kids and we're always trying to do something fun. Is that an S? Nope, that's a D, I think. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Once I find somebody to help me do it, then I'll probably get it done. <laughs> it's just, it's hard too doing things on your own, like home repairs. It takes a lot of time and effort to get everything set up, like the table and the chop saw and all that. And then have to break it all down by yourself so it's hard to get motivated to do it. I will eventually. I will. And then once I get finished I will have to do a video of like look at all my finishing work it's finally done. <laughs> oh we made another video? Okay you didn't post it yet? I will definitely check it out. 
I'll post it soon. Now, <laughs> I got, let's see, last night was my first night without the two little, so I've got a couple more nights. So I definitely have time to be checking stuff out right now. So get it posted, 1984. That's a check. That one's so dirty, I don't want to keep it. It's gross looking. 81 cover. 89, nada, nada. 82 check. Do any of you know the 1982? Um, I want to ask quick. The ones that you got to weigh if it's a certain mint mark or anything that it has to be because I'm just keeping all of them to check. But if I didn't have to, that would be great. <clears throat> copper. Copper. Copper, copper. Come on, give me a weedy. Weedy, 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 weedy. Come on, weedy. Copper. It's a D. Okay. Sometimes the D's really look like S's, so I gotta double check. <laughs> 95 and 8, 82D. My old house before I moved here, we didn't redo the kitchen, but the base parts of the house. Oh, definitely. <clears throat> yes, crown molding can do wonders. It really can, especially like here. Okay, so I tried drywalling, like doing the creases. I suck at it so bad, so bad. I tried and tried, like right here. Like there's actually a crack. In the wall that's why I'm putting ground molding up in this room because I tried to fix that with like the tape and the mud and it just didn't look good at all so I just took it down so that's one thing I admit I cannot do I cannot drywall <laughs> everything else I could do we replaced yeah we had to replace the floor like the floorboards and we actually had to put like this kill stuff like on the floor joist and everything because I mean it was it was nasty <laughs> Oh, it's 1982D small bait. 82 small bait that weighs 3.1. Okay, thank you, because now I won't save the other 82s. Thank you so much, Mr. Dirty Nichols. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I definitely learned to do a lot of home repairs that I never knew how to do before once I moved here. I will tell you that. I mean, I'm, in a way, it was frustrating, but I'm actually kind of grateful, because otherwise I want to learn how to do that. Like, I learned how to do plumbing. I learned how to do... You know, first time ever using a chop saw or a real saw, even like the skill saw. <laughs> I used all of them now. Yes, Mr. Dirty Nichols, very informative. Awesome. I'm excited about that. Cause like I said, now I don't have to save all of them. So I was wondering, do you know about the 83 and 84s too then? Because if I could just mark that down, I'll mark. Actually, I got to mark that down too. Uh, oh, that's too many. Let me mark that down real quick. So I do not forget because put that at the end. D, small, hang on. Sorry, I gotta look at that. Small date, wait, 3.11. Okay. 3.11. It's always good to have all of your info so that you don't get mixed up. And it'll save me a lot of times and I don't gotta check all the 82s. And I think I might have to get a new little scale because mine doesn't seem to be working great anymore. It's like an old, old one. I did buy a mailing scale because I was going to get into like the whole eBay thing a while ago. But I never got that going. So maybe that scale will work. i got to check it out and see how small it goes or how low of a de denomination it goes to. Seven, I'm not finding lots of copper. No weedy still. Oh, yeah, I do. I learned a lot. It's an 83 weighs 3.11 is worth a small portion of And other doubling. Okay. 83 if that one weighs 3.11. Okay, we'll put that on there. Okay, got that written down. Thank you so much, Mr. Dirty Nichols. I appreciate that. All 83 are supposed to be zinc. Okay. Post zinc. I know how nice of them to make errors for us to try to find. Oh, I'd be so excited if I actually found something that was worth like thousands. Oh my gosh. I think you might just see me like freak out. <laughs> Sixty-two, more copper, copper. Sixty-five. Eighty-two, but I don't have to keep it because it's not a D. <laughs> see, that's good. Making my pile smaller. 92 close AM is the one to look for. Yes, I do. I have that right here. I have. <laughs> here's the two 92s I found so far. I got them to the side. Yes, I definitely am saving those. I know I've seen a video about it. Oh, crap. Did I just mix something up in here? Nope, these are a lot of copper. Okay. Yeah, I've seen a video about it that somebody found one. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Ah, 
Please happen to me. Please happen to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't even know what I would do with it. Two verified wands? Oh, I think that's who I've seen, too. That's Coin Intelligence. I think that's the one that I've seen. Yes, that is awesome. Yeah, I want to find one for sure. I know, two verified ones. So did he get them like graded and everything? Because then I know it probably like ups the value. I've never got anything graded before. I guess I really haven't found anything too, too amazing yet to get graded. I found the one a while. Okay, I'm just going to move down here because it disappeared. A while back and set it aside and could never find it again. Oh, no. That stinks. I think I should move this iPad so that it's more facing this way so I don't have to keep looking to the side. Let's move my piles over a little bit. Moving the piles. I'll put the 92s back there. I can't believe that you couldn't find it. Oh, that would be so frustrating. Oh. Well, I really hope you find it. Because, man. How much is that one worth, by the way? Does anybody know how much it's worth? 77 copper. Oh. All my piles. Yeah, I got a lot to go through here, so I don't know if I'll make it through the whole pile, but we'll do as far as I can get. 350 in good condition, never mind AU or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Bring it on. I know, I might have found a double die on a half dollar. I actually have it, like, up by my computer and my scope on top because my computer desk has, like, you know, shelves on top. And I have it up there. And surprisingly, my kids have not got to it yet, so that's good. Because i got to check that again. I don't know, my scope? It's hard to tell for, like, the double dies, because sometimes you get that shadowing, and it's hard to see. So I wanted, I was going to actually make a video and post it and ask other people what they thought, because I'm not really, that's my first time, you know, like, really getting into using the scope. So I wasn't sure about that. I'll have to make a video about that tonight if I have time and see what you guys think, if it's a real double die or not, or if I'm just seeing shadowing. I wonder if anybody's got a video actually about how to use the scopes because like I said it's I don't know it's it's a little hard to tell with the double dies and stuff and if I found one it would be amazing there we go okay starting another pile let's see what I find now Oh, I know it is it's like it's confusing and it's hard like I remember like the first time I used mom's at her house she was like well this is really hard to tell yes it is it's very hard to tell like like I said like when I f would turn it a little bit the coin then it's like oh it looks like it's disappearing so is it just a shadow that I'm seeing or am I supposed to use like different lighting I don't know like I was I started like because it's got a light on it so then I started with that and then I tried <clears throat> like bringing in like other lamps and surrounding the scope with the other lamps to try to like cancel out shadowing so, I don't know. If anybody knows of a video or something to watch about that, like, tell me about it. Because I will definitely look at it. Because I need some help with the scope. Because I tried, like, Googling it and I couldn't find very much info on, like, how to use it right and what lighting to use to not get shadowing. <clears throat> 81. Copper. Come on, give me something good. 2003. 1996. 1995. 80, that's copper. 7-1. Eighty-two D. There we go. That's a D. That's a check one. <laughs> All right. Well, have fun at work. Don't work too hard. Bye, Rob. Oh, I know. Right. I know the doubling. It is. It's hard. And it's just. I don't. I don't know. I still don't really quite get it myself unless it's a super obvious one, which is. How oh, get that right there? Yeah. I don't know. I was all excited for the scope, and then I was like, well, this is kind of confusing. I know, so then I actually, like, brought up, it was a certain guy who's got the website about it. Bye, Rob! Have a good time at work! Um, and then I actually brought it up in a separate screen on the side. Hey, two videos already. Rob, on fire today. <laughs> on fire! I know, I got a couple of videos to make, too. I actually ordered a mint set and what else did I order oh I got a couple other than things one of them's for a friend gotta get some packages sent out soon so I 
and I got a shout out video to make. Oh, and I can't wait to go check the mail too. I know Silver Seeker sent me the tracking for the thing that I want and I didn't check yet. And I don't even think we checked the mail yesterday and yesterday was Monday. So it might already be out in my mailbox. I'll have to go check that. I like making shout out videos. Those ones are fun. What is it? 80, 81, there's copper, copper, copper. Most likely there yesterday. Oh, probably, I know, right? That's what I was thinking too. And I don't, I can't believe, well, normally my daughter checks because we order stuff for her online a lot. Like she likes these little squishy things. We collect things. Like we are definitely collectors. That's one thing. I'm going to make some videos of my daughter's collections because you would not believe, especially because we started collecting when it was just me and her. So it was a lot easier before there was two more little ones. But oh my gosh, her collections are insane. Like when she was in the Lala Loopsy, we literally had like every single Lala Loopsy doll, the house, the expensive stupid little bed and stove that were like $50 a piece and just ridiculous. Yeah, but I mean, we love collecting. I still actually have her Lala Loopsies in the basement because I was saving them because I'm like, you never know, I might have another kid and I did. And so Ashton will get to play with those. I should actually bring them up pretty soon because AJ might actually get into it too. It's pretty cool. It's a big wooden doll house and about 300 Lala Loopsies. <laughs> Of Pez. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Cassidy's new thing is the squishies. And before that, it was Pokemon. She's still into Pokemon, but oh my gosh, you should see our collection of Pokemon. It is ridiculous. We've got old cards. I mean, it's it's insane. And her newest thing that she's into now is Pushing the Cat. We actually signed up for, it's a like a seasonal box you get. And you get $50 worth of merchandise for $100. Or, yeah, $50 or $100 worth of merchandise for 50 bucks. And it's really cool. I actually want to do an unboxing of that because Pusheen is pretty sweet. Oh, she got rid of most of it. That's one thing. I have a hard thing parting with stuff. Like, very hard. I don't know why. I shouldn't be so materialistic. But when I collect something, I, collect, I still have all my Beanie Babies from when I was little. <laughs> you can blame my mom for turning me into a collector. No. <laughs> I remember sitting in the McDonald's drive through for like two hours and going right back around because we didn't get the one we wanted and they weren't releasing it for like another hour or so. Yeah, that was a big craze. And I still have all of those. All of those. Like, all my Beanie Babies, all my Teeny Beanies. Well, I, was, I wanted to keep them because they were like worth a lot of money and then they weren't. So I'm hoping that maybe Maybe if I just hold on to them still, that someday they'll be worth more money again. <laughs> I know I do. I love collecting. It's fun. I really get into it. The Pez thing, though, that's really cool because a lot of people collect those Pezes. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. She probably just doesn't like the clutter. I get so mad at my clutter in my house. Like, oh. I have so much stuff everywhere, especially with the age Ashlyn's at right now. Everything has to be put up because she likes to break things and throw things and tear it apart. So, yeah, we're at that stage right now. So, in my house, it's like there's not much on the floor up, but up on everything else, it's like clustered. <laughs> well, usually I do garage sale, too, to get rid of stuff every year, which I haven't done yet this year. Because, well, we go through a lot of clothes and stuff like that, too. And I like doing the garage sale. Usually I make about 600 bucks because, well, I got some nice stuff and I just let stuff go too. I don't even care. Someone will be like, I'll give you a dollar for that. I'm like, I'll take it. Get it out of my house. <laughs> Dig a hole in the backyard. <laughs> I have a little treasure chest in there. <laughs> well, I know some people do that. They hide their stuff in like PVC pipes and stuff in the backyard. You could start doing that. So we then copper, and another copper, and a nada, and a nada. Boop. Done with that. Yeah, collecting is fun. I know Cassidy's room is such a mess, though, because of collecting. I admit that. Like, she's got too much stuff everywhere. And she's starting to kind of get out of it because she's getting more, you know, into electronics and stuff now. Oh, you got a storage. Okay, that's cool. Yep, yeah, if you got a storage, that's sweet. I don't have a storage. I should have one. I want to, well, if I could get that barn, like, because I got the cement blocks that were, like, the first story and, like, the foundation is cement. So if I can get a roof on there, I could have a whole storage back there. I mean, it's pretty big, too. It used to house the horses for the carnival across the street. That was here a long, long time ago. Before I was born. What was that, 92? Ooh, this one's really worn out. Oh, dropping it. Let's see. Yep, that's 92. That's a check. Oh, let me find one of those. Close AM, come on. I know, I can't wait till I get a new computer. Because, like, my gaming computer took a crapola on me. I was pretty upset about that. 
So I have like my old ancient computer from like, what is it, like eight, ten years ago. So that's why I do everything off my phone right now because I don't think that old computer can handle very much. So, and I just can't justify right now spending like a thousand dollars on a new computer because if I buy a new one, it's going to be a bomb one because I, I used to like the game, but I used to play Sims. Was that a D? Yes, it was. Okay. I literally have like every single Sims 3 expansion pack and everything bought from the store. That was my thing when I lived in Green Bay. That was what I spoiled myself with. <laughs> Yeah, a huge garage with a second story that's all storage bills. Oh, yes. Oh, I have a basement, so that's one good thing. My basement is, like, stuffed full, though, because I I do this, like, other thing where, I like, I win points to be able to spend at Kmart and Sears, and I buy tools and get them all for, like, free, basically. So I love that so much. Like, I've got so many tools because of that. I know everybody's all like, you're a girl, and you have that many tools. I'm like, yes, I do. Home repairs, and I'm a go-getter. Except for with the finishing work, because it's like, I guess it's because it's not necessary. It's like, okay, the house is safe and livable. If it was a necessary something I had to do, I would do it. Just like the, like my sub pump line freezes out to the ditch because it's only buried about two inches underneath. So I had to like do this whole setup thing. I had to look it up like they do it in Minnesota. I found some people that do it and I did it so that I can shoot it out the side and it goes out of holes instead of just through that tube because it freezes. And then in the spring, my basement will flood, but I solved that problem. Yeah, almost anything is like, you can find a way around it. I've noticed that. It just takes a little research. I'm so excited about that I do have all the tools that I need. One thing that we're working on right now is Cassidy's go-kart because it is missing a back brake and the reverse is not hooked up. So I had ordered the reverse cable and now we have to get that set up. So I think I'll be able to figure it out though. I mean, there's a YouTube video explaining very simply how to do it. I just hope I don't have to replace the reverse gear mechanism. Like I'm really hoping I don't have to replace that because then that's like a hundred bucks. The cable was only like eight dollars, so I can need two D. That's a check. Yeah, she's got a hammerhead twister. Woohoo! A two seater. It's awesome. I mean, we can drive it around and stuff. We've been doing that, but she got a little scared of it. I think it's because when we got it, it was winter. I need to. Oh, gotta check down and lost that. Oh, I gotta get going. I need to think. Okay, well, good. Good luck. Hopefully, you get some more stuff to go through too. Go get rid of your nickels, Mr. Dirty Nickels. And post that video soon. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for dropping by. Okay, organize. Organize. Do, 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 do. There we go. See, now it's like a little roll. Bye. Thanks for stopping. Okay, let's keep going. 76 proper. Well, no weedies or anything found yet. I'm doing a lot of talking. I think that's why I'm like slowly going through these. It's going to take me forever to get through these if I keep doing that so let's try to move along here so many coppers too to save that's what's taking a while too it's like copper 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 but I'm not complaining like I said it's money in the bank in my eyes <clears throat> A2D gosh I'm finding a lot of A2Ds copper copper I should have put that on the other side here I'm having to keep reach over maybe I should do it this way duh oh, I'm not good with my left hand though Probably not. <laughs> like I can see me dropping a whole bunch then. 2004. Nothing, nothing, nothing. This way I can look down the chip. Then I feel like I'm not looking up at the camera. I'm trying, I'm trying. It's kind of weird with just me too. That's okay though. Oh, hang on. Was that an S? Nope, that's a D. Oh, I always sometimes think it's an S and get all excited. <clears throat> My voice. Another copper and 88. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, this is the rest of my change hoard that needs to go. I need to get through. The last of it, the final. It was kind of funny, too, because I got used to cashing in the quarters. Like, I'd go with, like, a full, my little actual change jar full thing. You know, one of those that where you put it in and counts it for you? And when I brought in the quarters, it was literally, like, $200 every time I brought it in. That was so exciting. But the pennies, it was, like, 25 <laughs> Oh, my coffee's cold. Yucky. Ugh. Well, come on. We haven't found a weedie in a while. Give me something good. Give me something good. <clears throat> nope, nope, nope. Finding a lot of copper still, but that's about it. 64, 75, and 79. So those are all copper right away. 
86 birth year. Uh, ew, some of these are really gross. 73. That one's too dirty. I'm not even going to bother saving it. I'm back. You all find one now? Oh, nope. Not yet, but hey, you're back. Maybe I'll find something. Let's fingers crossed. I've just been finding a lot of copper so far and talking a lot, so I'm glad you're back. I need something to talk about. What should we talk about? <laughs> Okay, has anybody ever found that the 1909 VDB with like the actual, you know, the really one that's worth a lot? I've always wondered about that because that's such, I heard that one's really, really rare and worth a lot of money. So, fingers crossed, let me find that one. <laughs> the price of eggs in China. Hmm, let's see. 30 yen. No. <laughs> no idea. I know we want to go up north pretty soon. Go up to Copper County my copper pennies. No, it would be fun, I think, to go up there with a metal detector. Because, I mean, it'd be sweet if you find a big copper chunk. That'd be a fun thing to make a video on. No, and I want to go to Mackinac Island, too. It's so pretty there. The only thing is, it's just really hard with the kids. <laughs> Last time we went, Cassidy was very, very little. And, you know, those pull-behind things for the bike? Yeah, well, we had that. And Like, if you do the whole island, I think it's like 9 or 11 miles, something like that. Well, we just got in that old gym. My well, boy, Renan just bought that for us, the pull-behind thing. And I didn't know how to use it yet. So, like, it can be used as a stroller, too. So, yeah, like, the little front wheel. Well, I didn't take that off. So, I basically rode the whole thing around the island with the brake on. Do you wax? Um, I'm confused. Wax what? <laughs> The man. I don't I don't even know if I know you yet that well. So um do you wax and you can tell me a little more info on what you mean by that and I will answer. Two thousand six, nineteen eighty two D, that's a check one. Sixty two D okay. Copper. Copper and one more copper. Okay. Oh, I almost did that opposite. Alright. Oh, I'm excited too. So, oh, hang on. Okay, hang on. Sorry. Okay, yep, hang on. My, I'm going, hitting low battery though. I gotta go grab my battery charger. I will be right back. I am trying to find my cord. See, I got this. Um, okay, dude, I'm not sure what you're trying to get at, but you might want to not ask those kind of questions here. So just hang on, though. I'm I'm really confused right now. I don't, don't know what I did with my cord. Is it in here? Oh, no! Searching, searching, searching. Nope, it's not in there either. Ah, moment of confusion. Okay, I will tell you what areas I look for in just one second. I have got to, I think, run upstairs and grab my cord because I don't know where my other cord went. Oh, by the computer, I bet. I was over there last night. Hang on, I'll be right back. Uh, yes, it is. Woohoo! Okay, I'm back, I'm back. I found it. It was by the computer. Woohoo! Okay, yeah, I'm down to 20%, so I don't want this to die on me. I wasn't really planning on doing this, so let's get it plugged in. There we go. Power on. See, Pokemon. Thank you, Michael. My brother got this for Cassidy, and I have been using it a lot because my battery pack is starting to get old. So, okay, what areas do I look for? Well, <clears throat> I've got a whole bunch of info here. Uh, if I can get my voice back. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> Well, we have the 1969S, double die averse on the date, 1992, close AM, 1984, double die on the ears, my eye is twitching again, 2017P, hi Mark, how you doing? Searching some pennies today, ooh, I kind of moved in now, I'm like, scoot a little more, boop, boop, boop. 
<laughs> so how's it going, Mark? Me? No, no. Coffee. Nope, definitely not on that. Okay, who are you, the man? Because I don't know if I like you. You're kind of rude. Nope, definitely not on meth. Highlander Grog, the best coffee in the world. 77. No, and I actually do have a very hyper personality. Well, actually, I'm kind of anxious. I'm, so I think that's part of it. I get a little nervous about this. Ooh, is that a nest? Ooh, we might have found a nest. Hang on. Where is this? Just been really busy building my new house. Oh, I'm so jealous. New house. Oh, this is a 1969 S. This one I'll have to check. Yay, I'll put that in the side pile. Check, check. Okay, um, let's see. I think this was the pile of... Nope, that was 92s. Okay, I'll put this one to the side too. Well, that's exciting about your house. So you know how to build houses too. That's something I learned how to do. Well, not build houses, but repair, I should say. 84. 90, 2,000, 96, not a 83, that's a check one. Okay, the man. Seriously, no. Sorry for being rude, but I'm just not exactly digging your comments or anything. So, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all, even though I was just kind of mean, but can't ask you love me no that's just weird dude that's just weird that's just normal that's a d so i'm assuming that 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 whole like do you wax thing was like yeah a perverted question save your perverted questions for somewhere else okay um let me see if i can figure out how to block him <laughs> Yeah, I do have spunk, so just be nice. I won't block you if you be nice. No rude comments, no sexual comments, nothing like that, and I'll let you stay. But if you keep being a little sass, you will get the little block, okay? So just chill out, dude. I know, I only had to deal with one other rude guy on YouTube once, so as long as you're nice, I won't block you. There was one guy who was like, was obviously like drunk or something and his comment was something very very rude so I got rid of him <laughs> and he got mad too and I told him to stop he got even madder and I was like yeah dude you got issues nada 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 okay well so far he's calm seemed to calm down so I'll let him stay as long as he doesn't make any sassies Oh, that's a D. I thought it was an S and That's definitely a D, though. Okay, well, moving along. So, how's your house, Mark? How far are you? Be right back. Have to do some setup work to do. Oh, I know. My stuff was almost all set up from last night already. I didn't put it away. So, I was going to go to the bank, but I have till 4 to get to the bank. So, you're good? Okay, good. The man, be good. Behave yourself. This is not a dating website or anything. This is coins. <laughs> I love copper, but it's not 1991. Yeah, let's see. What am I finding now? 78. Oh, what's this one? Oh, I thought that was something special. Nope, just a copper. Let's see. Pretty good condition, 2003. And this one is a 1982D. That's another check one. Don't forget, 1982D. I have it written down. Now that's the D. You have to weigh them because if it weighs three point or it should weigh I don't know get away it anyways you need a donation button um actually I do on my other videos have a thing where you can donate to my PayPal I'm, maybe I should just make a video about that if you want to donate to my PayPal to help support my channel I will have no problem with that at all donations are greatly appreciated yeah, I think you have to be, like, higher up to have, like, a super chat button or something. I think it's, like, a 1,000 subscribers. 
So hopefully I get there. I'm hoping before the end of the year that I will get up there. I kind of doubt it because I know it's hard to climb that fast. But, oh, man, there's a dime in here. <laughs> well, let's check out the dime. Let's see if there's anything in there. Nope, 2004. Nada. That's kind of weird. Well, we had to sep me and my mom and Jim all separated these. Had the outside all done. Had electrical ran Friday. Now I have to do finish the inside. Oh, yep. That's what I have left in my house is the finishing work. I have the crown molding and stuff to still put up. I only got that three quarters of the way down in the living room. So I got a lot of work to do still, too. 1980. That's a copper. Electric. Did you do the electric yourself or have somebody do it? Because I know like that's something the electric was updated in my house, but the box was not. And that's something I don't know how to handle. Because I would like to get a new box so that I can run electricity once I do fix the barn, put a roof on it and stuff. I could run electricity out there then. That would be cool. I'm just afraid to overpower it. Actually, I think there might be two boxes out there in my basement. I don't know. It's like old though with the, oh, the tubes for like, the, I don't know even what you call it. But that's what my electrical box looks like. 1982D, that's another check. 84, it's a check for the double die in the ears, and that is a nasty penny. Nasty, nasty. Dirty, dirty. Oh, I know, I really am. Oh, it's because all I ate today was a pickle, and I was like, oh, I better eat a pickle, otherwise I'll even get like jittery from my coffee. Yeah, I have three cups of coffee every morning, but I have a Keurig, so I just like, I run it through three times so that by the third cup, it's not that strong anymore. Otherwise, I'd be literally bouncing off the walls. <laughs> 84, that's a check one. Come on, give me something good. I want to find another weedy. Seven, seven, you like my attitude? Thank you. Yeah, I'm pretty happy-go-lucky most of the time. I mean, I did go on here once to talk about when I was stressed out when I was going through something hard. But most of the time, I'm a very, very happy person. I'm doing the inside. Had underground wire ran to my meter base on running. Oh, that's awesome. Good for you, Mark. You're like, you're very good with, obviously, construction and stuff like that. That's awesome. Come help me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but I could totally use the help. Oh, that's only a D. I thought that was an S at first. Yeah, it's awesome. I love learning how to do stuff, though. I do. Like, that's what I use YouTube a lot for, actually, is, like, do-it-yourself stuff. I was thinking, maybe I should make some videos. Like, when I get that, the reverse cable hooked up and get the reverse going on the go-kart, then, yeah, I should totally get that going. Like, I should do a video on it, because I think that's pretty bomb that I'm a girl and I'm going to be doing this. I just got to watch the video a couple more times though so that I do it right and don't make it mess up. I'll maybe I'll have a bloopers one. Well, here's where I tried and failed. And then I got it. <laughs> three cups? Wow. Yep. Yeah, like I said, I've run it through the Keurig like three times. Like it's this one, you know, like with the personal ones that you have where like you can add your own coffee because I like the Highlander Grog. And then I just run it like two more times through the same thing. So it gets weaker and weaker as it goes. Like I said, otherwise I would be literally bouncing off the walls right now. Like I'd be like, Dee -dee 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 -dee. <laughs> 1997. Nada, nada, nada. Yeah, I like my coffee. I don't. I like to get up in the morning, and get stuff done right away. I think that's why. Like a lot of people just in the mornings, and I'm more like. Normally when I wake up, it's like, wake up. Okay, what didn't get done last night? What needs to be done? What needs to be picked up? Especially having three kids, you can't, you can't slack. You take one day off and you're like, oh my gosh, my house is a disaster. <laughs> Copper. <clears throat> Let's see, not an 84, that's a check one. Okay, we'll put that in the check pile. Moving along. Yeah, so I've been thinking about putting my dog, Matilda, in a dog show. Because I've been teaching her a lot, a lot of tricks on how to do things. And she can, I can literally even get her to jump through like a hula hoop now and everything. So it's like, ugh. And I've seen this grease routine that this lady did with her dog at a dog show. And I almost got it down with Tilda. Like, I'm like, oh my god, if she like won a competition with that and I can make my dog do that, I think that would be cool. The only problem is she hates other dogs. Like, hates them. 
she gets so aggressive and mean and uh, well I shouldn't really say that it's more other females I don't know why she doesn't like other women it was really hard for me to break her too because she wanted to be the Omega female well you're drinking your funny I know right <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll do another one. Like, that's what I was thinking about doing, like, the whole theme. Like, once a week theme, hunting, coin roll hunting while drinking. But next time, I don't know, the margaritas made me feel a little icky. Hi, Chase, how you doing? The margaritas definitely made me feel a little icky. So I will be sticking two shots of Crown chased with water because I don't drink soda. Soda's bad for you. Yeah, I recently like, went through, like, learning, a discovery of learning. Like, I have a really rare blood type. It's A negative, 8% of the world or less. And, like, I'm not supposed to eat what everybody else eats at all. And, like, it makes us have heart problems and everything. And I'm so glad that I discovered all this recently because it has changed my world around. Yes, I love ancient cultures. Oh, you have no idea. I love ancient cultures. Mm -hmm. I love the research into all of it. I love what they did with, like, energy back then and the way everything was. I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk either. I am coffee. Coffee, coffee. <laughs> Yeah, I got a little drunk though the last time. I was really nervous to go live. I don't know why I hadn't gone live like that in a while other than just at the beach, but that wasn't like me actually talking. Crown is your drink too? I know, Crown is the best, especially when you just do shots and chase with water because if you drink it with soda, then you're going to get a hangover from the dehydration. So I know, that was just like after um, Waterfront on Saturday, I stopped out at the bar across the street from there for just a couple drinks and I ordered, you know, a couple shots of Crown and then a glass of water and they looked at me like I was nuts and I'm like no I'm like I'm gonna wake up feeling good tomorrow the rest of you people aren't <laughs> yeah but anyways my rare blood type like I'm not I can't process we can't process animal proteins like all A's can't process animal protein and I'm RH negative on top of it found a Canadian the hardcore history podcast no I have not I will have to definitely check that out this is a 1985 Canadian one cent so we found another Canadian to add to the pile woohoo and that one's like really shiny too in really good condition yes crown is the best drink out there except for I notice sometimes when it's warm it's a little gross I like mine chilled in the freezer and I'm actually out right now so I'll have to go run and get some more usually I always have a bottle in the freezer just in case you know you get those nights where you can't fall asleep and you're like yeah, I'll do a shot and then I'll go to bed <laughs> So the Hardcore History Podcast, is that like on YouTube or is that like a, I don't know. Explain that to me a little more so I know. Okay, that is a D. Just making sure that wasn't an S. <laughs> yeah, I'm really into history like a lot. Like actually one of my things that I want to do is free energy. Like I have this whole big idea of how I'm going to do it and release it. But it's going to take me a while to get there. It's very good. Okay, awesome. Yeah, because I want to base it off how they think the Egyptians used the pyramids for it with the limestone and the earth's natural like energy and pulling it out so I really want to build one in my backyard and I want to you know live off the grid <laughs> eventually like I'm saying it'll take me a little while I got three kids and not too much time so but I would love to do that and I want to do it sneakily so that it doesn't get shut down by anyone because I know there's like 10,000 free energy machines as soon as they patent it the government like puts a whole thing on them so that's really sad I will definitely look into that podcast because I am totally into ancient cultures. I love everything about it. And I just love the fact that like we keep discovering like older and older and older. iTunes? Okay, sweet. I will definitely check it out. I I have an iPhone and iPad. So I will definitely check it out on iTunes. 61. Ooh, what is this? Is that an S? Let's check this one out. Oh, it's so dirty. It's hard to tell. No, but it's a D. Okay. Just copper. Yeah, we'll definitely check that out. I'm totally into a lot of really weird, weird topics. Oh, we found a weedy! This is a 1957D. Woohoo! Another weedy found. Oh, this is awesome. These pennies are sweet. Finding a lot, a lot of pennies. Or a lot, a lot of weedies and good ones. Like I said, one Indian head was found earlier. That's what made me think I should go live in case I find another one. Put that to the pile. Yeah, one more. Yeah, the thing I've been getting into the most, actually, though, right now is, I don't know, I have this obsession with CERN and all the weird things that we did once we found the Higgs bosons and stuff like that. The large hydron collider. I don't know, the whole thing, like quantum physics and stuff, really gets me. 
dancarlin.com. Okay, hang on. I will write that down so I don't forget. So I would like to check that out. Dan okay. Oh, oh, that's quarters. We don't want to write it on that paper. Oh, National Parks, not quite. Okay. Oh, I'll write it on this one. Dan Okay, I got that written down. Thank you, because I will definitely look into that. Yeah, I am into a lot of really weird topics. I know, like, some people think I'm weird, and others get totally intrigued. <laughs> and it's so weird, because I notice one thing now. is like, I am making connections with a lot of people that are into weird. It's like I can just sense them. Like, when I walk into a room. Like, I remember at my friend's house the other day, I walked into the, to the little, they have a little, like, back smoking area, like, a back smoking room thing. But I walked into there. And right away, like, I started talking about it, and I just, like, okay, I can already tell that dude's going to be into this. So we, like, bounce ideas off each other and stuff. That's actually something I want to do eventually. No, I don't know who Rupert Sheldrake is. No, I don't. Because I would love to, yeah, I want to get into that. I want to actually do, like, a, I actually made, like, one night, me and Joey stayed up so late talking about, like, CERN and making connections between things, like Project Alice and Hell is about teleportation from A to B <laughs> and like it's just so many things that like people just don't catch on to like simple things and I don't know sometimes I think my brain works a little differently than other people's I make a lot of different connections I don't know why maybe it's because I'm RH negative I'm weird <laughs> no I love being RH negative though because I always felt like I never fit in with anybody like when I went to school and stuff like that like I don't know I always felt like an outsider and now I understand why because <laughs> I'm different <laughs> I wish I would have known this when I was younger, though, because I probably would have accepted myself a lot better, honestly. I was always trying to fit in and stuff, and I just never did. Never. Never, ever. And I was, didn't understand that. It made me kind of a sad teenager. But now I'm all happy. I'm like, now I'm informed and I know things. Just like with my daughter, because she's kind of going through the same thing right now, where, like, she doesn't quite fit in with the other kids too well. And I had to explain it to her. I'm like, honey, it's okay if you don't quite fit in with everybody else. Like, we're not meant to fit in. We're meant to stand out. Copper, come on, let's find another weedy 82D. That's a checker. Oh, Graham Hancock. Oh, yes. Yes, Graham Hancock. I know all about him. I read his books. Like when I lived in Green Bay, I love their library. Yes, Graham Han Hancock is good. I love their library in Green Bay because they have like all of the good, like Zachary Stitchin or Stitchin, if I'm saying that right, Graham Hancock. Like they had all those books there. And I got to read like every single one. Ooh, I think this one is an S. I think I did find an S. Is that? Oh, let's see. 74. If that's an S, I think that one might actually be. Oh, it is an S. I gotta Google that quick. And I got my phone. My iPad. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna drop this down off my iPad so I can Google something quick. Is a 1974 S approved or not? I can't remember what year they started I don't know that so if anybody knows it just tell me because I'm gonna google it quick because I can't remember <laughs> I should have wrote that down too when they started it. I don't think I did no I didn't write that down hang on I'm gonna check quick to see I'm bringing up Google to see what the proof penny is if they did S's on them or not and when Because I thought it was 72 when they stopped making them there oh come on my iPad's not respant doesn't like the gloves too much okay 1972, or no, 74, S. Penny. Let's see what this one brings up. Sorry, oh, and Rupert Sheldrake. No, I don't know about him, but I will definitely look him up. Hang on, I gotta tap the screen to see if there's any more. Okay, oh, it is a proof. Okay, as estimated, the 1974 S. Penny proof value at an average of one cent, one in certified mint can be worth $9. Okay, let's let's read about this one a little bit because I'm a little curious. Like I said, I know there was a certain year that they stopped making them. So a messenger audio <laughs> call, so I had to deny that. Okay, let's see. It could be worth up to da, 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 da. any more info about this. Okay, well I don't know if it, it seems like it is. I think it is a proof, so we're gonna put this one to side. It is an S proof, I think. Okay, back to YouTube so I can. Have my chat up so I don't get confused. Okay, it's back up. Okay, here we go. Okay, yes, but I will definitely look into the Rupert one. Search Terrence McKenna on YouTube. Okay, I will write that down too because I am totally into all these weird topics. I love it. I love gaining knowledge too. Like, I swear my brain is like a sponge and I can never get enough of anything. 
Like I have this unsatiable need for knowledge. <laughs> And that's why I feel like I'm weird. I don't know. I love researching. That's another thing to do with, though. Like, I guess in Japan, I believe it is, all A's are usually researchers and scientists. Because that is what we are into. And I love it. I completely love it. Terrence McKenna. Okay. I'm going to look that up, too. Okay. Back to the pennies now. Getting back to it. Okay. Let's see. 1975. That's a copper. Yeah. So, um, just to show, this was the 19... 74s I just found. So that's pretty cool. Excited about that one. 65 copper. Yeah, I'm finding a lot, a lot of copper, some Wheaties. Haven't found another Indian head yet, but I can hope, right? 66, 76, there we go. Let's see. Not those are news. 96. 80, oh, 86. Ooh, it's got, that one's got gunk on it. And that one's got a lot of gunk too. Okay, um, let's see, what else, what is this one, 94, nope, that one's really dirty, hard to see. Okay, moving along, here we go. Okay, we're kind of down there on this pile, not too much though, I have gone through this many so far, those are all the rejects. <laughs> Two 89s in a row, they each look completely different. 96, 75, got a copper. You sound Canadian. Oh, well, I am actually, I live in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, so I am like very close to Canada. So that might be why. Maybe we have an accent here that's slightly Canadian. I am a youper. <laughs> that's what they call people that live in the Upper Peninsula. We are the youpers. 66, that's a copper and one more copper. Okay. Hello, Augie. How are you doing? Searching pennies today. I got this this to go through, so <laughs> the kids Easter basket. <laughs> At least I put those baskets to good use. No, I'm not from Wisconsin. I am from Michigan. Well, tech, I was born in Wisconsin, in Marinette, Wisconsin. Okay, like the UP looks like this. And then here's the lower peninsula. Might be backwards. No, actually, that kind of looks right for you guys. Okay, yep, like this. But I live right here. It's down at the tip of the UP, so I'm right on the border of the Upper Peninsula and Wisconsin. And I love it here because we are so lucky. We are surrounded by beautiful water everywhere. Like we've got the bay, we've got rivers. I, I just love it here. It's an awesome place to live, other than the winters are so cold. Ontario, Canada? Oh, sweet. You're not too far from me then. Yeah, I think to get, reach Canada from where I am, I think it's like four or five hours, I think. I believe that's how long it takes us to get to like Copper County area, which is like right by there. Yeah, my ex is actually from Grand Marais, which is like right up there. Right up there. That's like super border. Copper. That's a copper. That one's nice looking. Ontario, Canada. Do you, do you think I sound Canadian? You've been to, I've been to every state in the U.S.? That's awesome. I have not. I have not. I mean, I've been to, like, Florida. I've never been over by, like, California and stuff, though. I would love to head that way sometime just to see it. Like, I love, oh, I want to I wanna travel a lot. Like, I want to go to cool places like Machu Picchu and stuff like that. Oh, I can dream. Hopefully when I'm older. Maybe I'll retire when I get old and then I'll go traveling. I so hope I can. We got to find something that's worth a million so this girl can travel. <laughs> I do. I want to travel so bad. I, I just want to see all the ancient sites. Like, I would love to go to the pyramids and 27 countries. Oh! Ten mints from Buffalo, New York. What? Minutes, did you mean? From Buffalo, New York? Okay, I'm confused by that. Maybe mints means, oh, 1992. That's a check one for the close they am. Or a nice guy with lots of money. Yeah, I can dream on about that one, honestly. I think now at my age, <laughs> most of those guys are taken. <laughs> Trust me, I've recently been thrown back into the dating pool. And holy crap. It's a little crazy. I, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe. I'll just say I don't have my hopes up, though. I want to travel bad. No, I'm kind of independent myself, too. Utah is my favorite part of the U.S. 
Really southern Utah. Utah, that's like, that's a weird place to like. What's, what's up with southern Utah? Yes, Buffalo, New York. Okay. So you're 10 minutes from Buffalo, New York? I don't know. I'm confused. Or is that... Okay, I don't know. I'm getting still a little confused about that. I thought you said you're from Ontario. Are you staying, like, in the U.S. right now or something? Oh, what, the whole dating thing? Yeah, yeah, it sucks. It's hard. It is definitely hard. Especially, like, I have three kids, too. So it's like, try to find somebody who's fun... <laughs> And as into you having three kids, yeah, it's a little difficult. Popper. And like I said, too, like, I'm 32, so, I don't know, it's just, it's hard. Most people my age seem to already be, like, married, happy, settled, like, if, well, if, if it's a good guy. 82, don't, that's not a D. So, yeah, it's, it's a little crazy out there in the dating world. It's like, oh, what am I getting myself into? <laughs> yes, it is. Those are copper. Yeah, it definitely it makes life hard. I don't know. And it's so hard to even just find time. They're like, oh, let's go out on a date. Southern Utah, beautiful. Oh, okay, I've never been there, so I have no idea. But I'll take your word for it. Yeah, I have three. I have a 10-year-old who's almost 11, and then a one and two-year-old. So, I mean... Makes it really hard because the one and two year old they're very demanding. They don't like to share mama. They're used to like they get all mama. So when, even when I have friends over, like they get jealous. <laughs> I remember Alexander was getting so jealous. He's all like, "Oh, my mama, my mama!" <laughs> like didn't even want them standing next to me. It's like, honey, I'm just hanging out. You're cool as hell. You should. I know, I know, but I live in a small town, and it's definitely not the easiest. I don't know. Maybe I'm being picky, but I have to be picky. Like, I've got kids and stuff, so i got to be picky, you know. Can't just let anybody into my life, right? <laughs> no, but I've got a couple, like, really good friends, too, so that's the part that matters the most to me. Like, when I was with my ex, the, the bad guy, we'll just leave it at that, like, I couldn't he didn't want me talking to like any of my friends or anything so I got really isolated and he started even trying to not let me hang out with my mom and stuff so that got a little out of hand but I lost connection with all my friends and stuff so I recently just rebuilt connection with my friends so that's the part that matters to me the most if I is I have got a very close group of friends and stuff oh uh -huh, that's a long story I don't even know if I should go I am I am single but not actually single like I'm going through divorce I was married and off and on with my husband for like 10 years because he was a, well, he was just, but he wasn't, not a good person. He was into a lot of bad drugs and stuff. So, and I dealt with, you know, like he'd get clean, I'd take him back, and I finally just had it and was done with it. So, that's how I am currently going through a divorce. <laughs> Hi, Gear, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Yep, so that's how I wound up in this whole, like, oh, I'm single and now I'll get to try to date, which I don't know, like I said, it's kind of a nightmare, so I don't even know if I want to. Like I said, I've got my family, my kids, and my happiness is all right here. And honestly, it just seems like as soon as you try to bring somebody else into your life, it just complicates stuff so much. 69. Oh, that one I can't tell what that is. But it is copper. Can't tell what the mint mark is. It's got a little scratch across it. 82. Oh, not a D. We don't got to check that one. 25. So what's going on, gear? How's... Let me get this right. Norway, Ben, right? Did I say that right? I think it's Norway. That's another copper. Let's see. No, 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 and no. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, I'm happy with this stash so far. I did find quite a lot of good ones. Like I said, I'd started doing this before I went live, and then I found an Indian head, so I decided I should probably do the rest live in case I find something else cool in here. Possessive people. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah, people can get quite possessive. 82, not a D, don't need to check. 25. Yeah, so, I don't know. I'm just having fun being me lately. Got another copper. I'm fine, yeah. How's the kiddo doing? Nope, nope, nope. And that's a D64, I always check. See if they're, oh, 1970, that's a D, okay. 
I always want to check for the S because I know there's something special with the S's from a certain... Oh, I almost put that in the wrong pile. Nope, that was right. Okay. Yep, because these are the copper. Okay. Oh, that one doesn't look copper, is it? No, it's not. Oh, I messed up somewhere. Got to double check. There we go. Figured out. Oh, this is the end. This is the end. The pennies. Ah, oh, I found one silver dime out of all the buckets. That's it. But I have found a lot of cool pennies. I found a lot of cool, like, old nickels and stuff, too. But I couldn't believe it. Only one silver out of all those buckets. Literally $2,000 and change. And it's like a hoard that was saved for 15 years. And only one silver. But that's okay. Yeah, I found an Indian head in this one. That's I should show it to you quick. It's pretty sweet. I was excited about this one. Because it's actually worth like seven bucks. Surprise, surprise. Where is it? Right here. This is one I want to show off. Because I didn't find this on the live stream. This was before I started doing it. But it, I was so excited because I actually found it. And it's in decent condition. So I was excited about that one. So here we go. Let's hope I find another weed. I haven't found one in a little bit now. So that's a copper. We'll set that to the side. 70. Oh, I need to scoop. I need to look at this one, make sure it's not an S. Nope, oh, that's a D. Okay. Just making sure. 74. 81. Ooh, that's a gross 94. It's like falling apart. Must have been one that's in the ground. I know I think they said that the new pennies don't they kind of decompose in the ground a little bit. 83D. That's a check one. Yep, always check your 83s. Let's see, it's got a DDR and, oh, DDR on the one cent. And if you find a 3.11, then you are in the money. Let's see, that was another copper. Oh, some of these are so gross, it's hard to see. It's so weird watching like the live stream below because I see like what I just did like 10 seconds ago. Huh, it's kind of goofy. Just to let you know. <laughs> You're at work? Hi, Italian Eddie Ralph. What's going on? You're at work? Are you taking a little break? Yeah, work. Nah. That's my work. No, I'm just kidding. No, I actually have a cleaning job that I do, so. I'm that off before I started. I so should have paused at 1992. Yes, I am back. It will disappear once in a while. I don't know if you heard me because the call came through, but hi, Italian Eddie Ralph. I'm here. I'm just getting the messenger call. And I'm sure he's going to be mad that I didn't answer, but I'm sorry, dude, I'm live streaming. This is more important. <laughs> Doing my coins. 84, that's a check for the double die on the ears. 81, that would be copper. It's 1981 and down are all copper, so you always want to save those because those are worth three cents to the penny because that's what it's worth in copper. So I save all of it. Copper, copper. Add it to the copper stash. Yeah, my copper pile is going to be so huge. I'm going to start... Needing to use one of those buckets that all this change was in for my copper soon. I'll be one of those people that's got hordes of it in their basement. Just big, what are those called? The big oil drums full. <laughs> I actually have that for um, burning my garbage. Probably isn't the most environmental friendly, but I don't know what's better, putting it in the dump or not. I don't know. Let's see, what is this? That's a D. Okay, I thought that was an S at first. Let's see. What did I miss? Hi at work. I'm not new age, but I like Sedona AZ and energy. Oh, I would love to visit some of those energy spots too, especially because I would love to see how I respond to it because I'm RH negative. So I'm always curious about that because I feel like I pick up on things a lot of times, like weird things because of that. And I don't know if anybody else, I know most men don't really know their blood type unless they were in the army, but women, like if you're RH negative, you have to know because you have to get the special shot because your body will try to kill an RH positive baby inside of you. Kind of crazy, eh? Nothing, nothing. 2014. Yeah, I actually want to get a group of people together. I don't know if you've ever heard of C75, but I'm in that group, and a person from um, within 75 miles of me is actually starting a group that, like, he wants to do, like, the, where they meditate together and try to make contact. So, if you are interested, you can email me at dizzo 
1986u at gmail.com because he's looking to get a group of people together and I don't want to just show up there alone either like he seems cool and legit like he sent me his Facebook and all the info about him so I wasn't freaked out like oh I'm some creepy stalker that's gonna try to kill you or something <laughs> so I don't know it seems pretty cool I don't know if anybody's ever heard of that but like the SETI program the search for extraterrestrial intelligence like I said I'm into weird stuff and I'm actually like in their group and like they got a map and a whole like all over the whole world and somebody actually got a hold of me through that. Like I've been in that group for a long time and nothing ever happened with it. Oh, I found one of these. Which one is this? This one is his years in office. Yep, the White House. Let's see, this is the 2009 by or the commemorative Lincoln Penny. Woohoo! Hi Silver Baggins, how's it going? We are searching through some pennies. So how you doing? 1982D, that's the check one. Got to weigh that one later. 64, oh, this one's dirty, I got to check. Is that an S? Oh, it's so hard to tell, it's so dirty and corroded. Okay, I think it's a D. No live stream, didn't know about 24 hour wait period, what? I, I didn't know that there was a 24-hour wait period for what? For live? I went live right away on mine. I'm not sure. Oh, is this your first live stream, maybe? Bald Eagle? Is that why? Oh, yeah. 85 and 89. Nope, no popper. For first time live stream. Oh, that might be why. Yeah, because I remember I turned mine on, but I didn't do my live stream for a while, so maybe that's why. I've been a vegetarian for 26 years. My blood type says I should eat meat. Oh, yeah? Well, what blood type are you? And are you RH negative? Because I know, like, I think all RH negatives probably should not have meat at all. I do still eat, like, meat. I love, like, salmon and stuff like that. I try to stay away from red meat as much as possible. I don't consume dairy products. Like, I have almond milk with my coffee and stuff like that, so. And that's a bummer that you have to wait 24 hours. I had no idea. I'm so sorry, bald eagle. Well, tomorrow, are you going to be available to do it? 83, that's a check one. This looks like it's gonna be copper. Oh, 82D, that's a check. Bam, add it to the pile. Yes, I have. Here, I'll show you quick everything that I found. Hang on, let me set these down. That's a no. Yes, I found lots of wheats and an Indian head. So we're gonna do another recap thing again. Okay, here's the Indian head. It is a, oh, I said that wrong. 1882. Uh-oh, my air conditioner just shut off. Yep, 1982 Indian is found in there. Yes, I know. Well, this isn't like a box of pennies or anything. This is my boss's change that he gave me. He gave me like three five-gallon buckets, about a quarter way full of change for my birthday. It was awesome. He was kind of well off and his kids didn't want to cash it in. I know, I looked it up. It's worth like seven bucks because it's in like pretty good condition. So I've got a 35 weenie. And I'm going to go through all of them real quick. This one is a 1945. Oh, sorry. i got to keep them stacked up. I like my things all organized. This one is a 1944. And these are all from the penny hoard of what I found so far. Because that's the only thing I have not gone through through the change. 1944. Hang on. Let me check that out more. Oh, it is an S. Is that really rare, a 1944 S? Because that definitely is an S. I thought it was a D. It's an S. I don't know if that's rare or not. So if anybody knows, let me know. 1913, too. This is an old one. Oh, let's do it that way. And what else do we got? We got a 1957 D. Ooh. Is it Nikki Day? Okay. I wasn't sure what was the S. I don't see the S's very often. And 1955 D. I'm excited though. I'm super excited about finding those so far. I mean, the Indian hat alone was like, I've never found one of those in pennies before. At least I don't think I have. If I do, I don't remember. 19 or 1882 is great. Oh, positive. Okay. 1944 isn't a key date. Nope. Okay. Oh, I'm still excited to find it though. All of them I'm super excited. Like anything that's awesome. A 1964, is that S or a D? I have so a hard time telling sometimes if these are S's or D's. 
Okay, that one is a D. Oh, I know, right? In Indiana, and they're so rare, but I think that's just because this was like his change hoard for the whole like 50, saving his change for 15 years. And then he wanted to give it to his kids, but his kids, they're, they're well off. So they were too embarrassed to go cash it in. So I got it instead for a birthday present. How lucky. <laughs> going surfing okay bye the man thank you for calling down and being cool <laughs> have fun surfing yes definitely bye <laughs> no but he's up there he's very he's up there he's he's a very he's such a nice man though yeah I actually clean he's got two different houses so I clean his houses he's got one big mansion that's like on the river and then uh what do you call that uh an apartment but it's like what do you call that on the very top? I can't think of what it's called, but a penthouse suite. There we go. Like downtown Green Bay. So yes, I clean his house and he's very, very nice and very generous. He always helps me out when I need it too. So I, I'm very grateful for him. Best boss you could ever have. <laughs> Get coppers to add to the collection. I don't know about the best birthday present ever too. He was like, well, I feel kind of stupid giving you change, but he goes, it's a lot of change. You know, so I was so grateful. And then he asked, oh, how much was it? I'm like, well, it was about $2,000 and that's not including the coins that I kept. Cause like I said, I'm keeping a set of all the state quarters, the ND for me and my three kids and the state parks and stuff. So I kept a lot of it. I'll have to figure that into the total too. Cause you got to think about that. Like that means I have four, one for me and one for my three kids, four for every, you know, P and four for every D. So, uh, you know, that's a lot. That's a lot of quarters right there, too. So it's probably a little more than that, but I haven't figured that into it yet. No, I believe he is about 70-some. Not quite 100. I hope he lives to 100, though. <laughs> that was so nasty. Grody, grody, grody coin. Yeah, and thank you for subscribing, the man. Peace. 1982, not a D, so we don't have to throw that in the check pile. 81, we got a copper. 88, 99, 85, 2012, 1964. Uh, nope, that's a D, okay. Come on, we got lots more copper. Give me another weedy, give me another weedy. Come on, oh, I'm dropping stuff to 74. Well, finding lots and lots of copper though. 2001. Well, well, well. Let's see. What else can we find? Come on, give me something good. Nope. Okay, well, I have a lot to add to the copper stash, though. I just realized my purse is still sitting there. Let's move that out of the way from when I needed a pen. <laughs> Where did I even put that pen? Okay, it's right there. It's still accounted for. Okay, let's see. 82. Nope. No D in there. 73 copper. I wish someone would give me a huge order change. Congrats on happy birthday. I'm at work, so I gotta go. Great night, Ella. Well, thank you for stopping by and watching. I know I'm so excited. I've been finding a lot of good stuff in this one. Yeah, I know. I was super excited when he did that, too. Like, I had no idea it was coming. And he's like, I have a surprise for you. He's like, you just turned 32, didn't you? I'm like, yes, I did. And started off with one thing of change, and then it turned into multiples and multiple buckets. It was, like, amazing. And I remember when I got home, because my mom was actually here watching Cassidy, and... When I got home, she was like, oh my gosh, like I was just digging with our hands in the buckets. We were like, oh, look at all this. This is so amazing. Yeah, it was a little, a little piece of heaven for me for a while. That's for sure. 64, 79, copper, copper. Oh, I think I found another Canadian though. Yes, I did. What year is this one? This one is a 1997 Canadian. One more to add to the Canadian pile. No, I think I got like 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, no, I got 11 now. I actually found one that looks different, too, that's Canadian. Maybe I should show you guys. This one I found earlier. 1867 to 1967. Um, yeah, I thought this one was cool. It looks different. That's a Canadian. It must be like a bicentennial. I'm thinking. I thought that was neat. It looks different than all the other Canadians. Okay, well, have fun at work, Silver Baggins. Thank you for watching. That's all gross. That one's yucky. I don't even want to that. Okay, these ones were copper. Put those over here. Oh, let's see how many more we can get through. And I hope my friend's not mad that I totally declined his Facebook call twice. Oh, well. 
he gets mad, he gets mad, he'll get over it. Well, my friends know that I do this. Oh, what am I doing? That's a copper. So they should get over it. 79, 73. Copper, copper, copper. 81, 91. No, 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 no. 84. That one is a checker. 62. 86. Come on, Weedy. 2,082D. That's another check one. All right, let's see. Can I find anything sweet? Come on, come on. Give me something good. Give me something good. Oh, I'm getting warm already because that air conditioner shut off. It must have been overheating. Do you guys mind if I step out real quick? I gotta just reset the switch on my little power strip. I don't know why it's been doing that. It's like a 10,000 BTU one, so I'm thinking maybe that's why, but I will be right back because, yeah, I need that air conditioner on. I don't know why it's hot in my house right now. It's not even warm outside. <laughs> yeah, we'll be right back. I know I only plug my air conditioners into power strips now because last year my kids decided to pile up some toys like stuffed animals right by the outlet that it was plugged into and I almost had a fire. I was like this close to having a fire in my house. I've never had a fire in my house before. I do have a fire extinguisher just in case though. But yeah, all of a sudden I could smell like a burning plastic smell. And I remember like, as my ex, he's like, you're crazy, I don't smell anything. And I was like, no, I smell burning plastic. I'm like, I know I do. And all of a sudden, you know, so I'm sniffing out to like where it's coming from. And then I noticed that they had a couple of their stuffed animals piled up against the wall right by where the air conditioner was plugged in. And the whole outlet was like fried. So I'm glad I caught on to that because I saved myself from a house fire. I don't know, I'm kind of like that though. I notice all the time when there's something off in my house or a different noise. Like that's how I knew like when my sub pump wasn't working anymore because I heard a different noise coming from the basement. But you kind of have to be that way when you have a house. Otherwise, man, you're going to get like, not catch on to anything that's going on in there. Uh, okay, that's a D. That's a nope, nope. So it's working again, but not working that great. 64D. Huh, now I'm watching the live video. There's why I just walked out. That's kind of weird. I wish they would be more like in tune with each other. That's okay though. 83, that's a check for the double die. Oh, I found a weedy. I see a weedy. <laughs> what year is this? And this one is a 1956 D. Yep, yep, that's a D. Okay. Woohoo. Um, this one is newer. I don't know. Like, I'm uh, pretty sure I got it from Jim. But. Yeah, this one, it's only like, I think two to three years old. So it's not that old, but it is 10,000 BTU. And I'm thinking maybe, like I didn't check the other things with it, but maybe because my box isn't updated in my basement that that's got something to do with it. Just a little too much for my house to handle. Oh, what did I say this was again? A 1956D weedy. Woohoo, another weedy found. Oh yes, I clean all of them every year. I take them apart and clean them and stuff like that. Cause we, I don't know, I get worried about um, I get worried about um, mold and stuff like that coming through. Yes, woohoo! Score! Another weedy found! Yeah, we're getting up there. Yeah, I'm kind of picky about that because we have allergies. Well, we can get allergies pretty bad if I don't take care of certain things, so. Yeah, I cleaned all four of my ACs out. Like, took out the screens, wiped them all down. I don't, like, go actually like take the inside of the back part apart which it probably should but man i got four of them to go through that's too much work for one person <laughs> so she goes when i had to get i had to put all my air conditioners in myself do you see these muscles do you see that that totally got those in the one the 10,000 btu one though i admit that one almost took me out because like my windows and downstairs are the side sliders so i have to like put another board across and you know like screw it in and stuff like that to get it to hold oh yeah that one totally almost took me out Almost, like I had to stand on a chair, hold it up and do the board and the power drill at the same time. Yeah, I was like, my neighbors are probably laughing at me right now, watching me struggle because that thing is heavy. So heavy, I can't believe I got it up there. But I don't know, you'd be surprised at the stuff you can do sometimes when you really put your mind to it. I was all like, I don't care, it's hot. I'm getting these suckers in today. It is happening. It was so warm that day. It was like 90 some degrees out and I was no more sweating. 
if the portion outside is not clean, it goes up roughly 5k overheat the compressor causing it to stop on thermal overload. Well, that might have been what happened, but it's weird because, yeah, because it's the power strip that I just have to reset, but I don't know. I believe you because I don't know much about air conditioners other than that I clean them and I put them in. <laughs> and they do sit in my basement too, which I don't think next year I won't be putting them in the basement. I don't think I'll be putting them in the upstairs closet, but I don't have much phone call. Oh, oh I needed to set my settings off on that. So I'm still here if it's just a phone call. I own an air serve heater franchise. Oh, that's what you do? Well then. If you like traveling to Menominee, Michigan and help me know. <laughs> no, I actually want to put in like a central air system in my house really, really bad because it'd be so much easier. I hate putting air conditioners in. They're heavy, they're difficult, they're bulky, they need to be cleaned. Like it's just a lot of work. And it's, like I said, it's just me and three kids here. So <laughs> for a small fee, you would, hmm, what's that small fee? No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Oh, once I save up enough money for a central air thing, I will get a hold of you because, yeah, I would love that central air. I was supposed to get it put in a couple of years ago by my youngest two's dad, but he never did it, and now it's never going to happen. So, I got to do it myself. I will, though. I will save up the money. Hopefully, I'll find a coin that's worth just enough for that. No. <laughs> That would be awesome if it was an idiot. That one was really, really, really dirty. Cover my gas and give me food and a place to stay and I'll help you out. Well, sounds like a pretty good plan to me. And I'm not sure we like to eat, but I could make an exception and make something really yummy. I make bomb, bomb lasagna. I don't eat it anymore now knowing that I'm not supposed to have cheese and red meat and stuff, but I do make like the best lasagna known to mankind. Seven or seventy-one. I said that wrong. Is that an S? Nope, that's a D. Okay. Oh, I gotta add these to the copper pile. Yeah, I haven't been to Chicago in a long time. Actually, the last time I was in Chicago, that's when I was being a little sass. I was going to I think it's called Excalibur, that big nightclub that looks like the castle. Oh my god, I had so much fun there. Yeah, that was like the first time I ever really got a break. That's when I first moved to Green Bay, and that's when me and my husband had separated the first time. It's closed now. Yeah, I seen that. I actually just watched the movie Party Monster last night. <laughs> are they, what are they going to turn it into? Because, man, that is a cool, I heard that it's on, like, the haunted thing, too. Like, we actually got into the towers one night. I know they were supposed to be closed off, but they, somebody opened it up, and we got up and got to walk up the tower and stuff. It was pretty fun. I hope they make it another nightclub, because, honestly, that is a really cool place for it. 92, that's a check for the close AM. I had so much fun. It was, it was crazy fun, though, I will admit that. Like I said, that's when I first separated from my husband, and then we got 50-50 custody of Cass back then, so that was like my first time ever having freedom. Well, I went a little nuts with it, I will admit. I had a lot of fun, and I won't be going back to that lifestyle forever. Okay, that is a D. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was a D. It is a D. Okay, grabbing another stack, moving along. How long have I been on here? Oh my gosh. Has it really been like over an hour already? Well, this goes by fast when you're on here sometimes. Making all my friends mad, they're all getting ignored. <laughs> Every time it goes out for a second, that's just a phone call that I'm getting. So, oh well though. They will have to get over 1992 again. That's a check for the close AM. Add that to that pile. 89, that's a nothing. 91, 2000. Yeah, I've lived like a crazy life. Like, I'm a Gemini. May 24th is my birthday. I'm a total Gemini, and I'm glad I am because I do seem to do good with like living almost like a dual life, I guess you would say. Because I'm like, I like to be the stay at home mom, you know, loving, caring, but I also have a crazy fun side to me. <gasps> I do, and it comes up like that's where the stizzle comes from. That's my nickname from high school. 83, that is a check one. 1992, wow, getting a lot of 92s here. Come on, close AM. That's close AM in America. They will be like really close. 1995, that's a nada, nada. 63, that's a D, okay. 
Yeah, so what time is it now? I'm Central Time, so I'm at 2.32. So where's everybody else from? So I know Bald Eagle, you are from Chicago. And somebody else was from Canada, 1982D. That's a check one. Way me, way me. <laughs> 93, let's see, 2000, and a very, very shiny 1998D. Nope. Okay, put that to this pile. Move it along, let's see what else we can find here. I like to stack them up in my hand as if they were still from a roll. I don't know, I think I'm just used to that, so now I like that. It's easier to go through, too. 89, 2000, 2000. Oh, is that a D or an S? Uh, I don't like that one, it's so hard to tell. Okay, that is a D, 78. 91, 99, 97, 82D, that's another check one. Add it to the pile. Oh, I fell off the pile. There we go. Okay, let's see. Moving along, 94. Okay, well, we did just find a weedy not too long ago. There's another 83, that's a check one also. Copper is 66, gear 66. <laughs> Nada, nada, nada. Let's see, 89, 2000, 2004, not, not, not. I always check to make sure there's no, if there's an S, you know, for proof mint mark too. And those are all nopes, and these were the coppers. I don't know what else. I know I have a whole bunch of different things on here, like 2014 DDO, 2011 doubling of letters and shield, 1988 double die ear, 1987 DRPM. And I don't know like if those ones are really common or not. I got them off of somebody else's YouTube thing, so I'm not gonna check for all those. I just realize it's I just don't have the time. So if they're only worth like an extra little bit, it's just I don't have the time for that. So I'm just keeping the 82s, 83s, 84, and of course all the copper and the 1992s for the close I am. Uh, that's a copper. Yeah, so 1981 and under are all copper, and those ones are worth like three cents each. So save them. You cannot melt them down. But hold on to them. 69. Okay, that's a D. I always check too because I know there's something about the S's. It's like 69, 70, 71, somewhere right around there. So if you have the S's, always check them and scope them too. I don't remember exactly what it is, and I feel bad for talking about that. I can, but don't tell anyone. Okay. Tell anyone what? I don't know. Maybe I'm having a blonde moment. Facebook call. Oh, melt the copper. <laughs> yeah, no, no. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to hold on to it. And then once they make it legal to melt the copper, I'm not going to melt mine. I'm going to keep it because then they're going to be so rare and worth so much more money. And when I hand it down to my kids, hopefully they don't cash it in right away either. Unless they need money for college, then I'll go okay it. Yeah, my I love I don't know I love collecting I love saving things. And sorry that I keep getting calls. Like I said, I forgot to set my settings to airplane mode and stuff. 1964. That's another copper. And now somebody really wants to get a hold of me. They want to hang out. They're probably like, oh, let's go do something. And then it's like, nope, I am live coin roll. Well, not coin roll hunting because it's not coin rolls. Live coin bucket hunting. <laughs> 73 copper, 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 copper. 79. 71, we got more copper. 84, that one's checked for the double die ears. Oh. And 82D, that one's checked away. Check for the weight. Okay, moving along. Let's see. Hopefully we find another weedy. Come on. I w it'd be awesome if I found one more Indian head. I would be so ecstatic about that. Ooh, this one's so gross. Okay, so 95. Nothing. 72 D a copper. 94. 94. Oh, this one's got some grodies on the back. Ugh. 
Not finding anything in these ones. Not right now. Come on. Oh, we must be getting to the newer stuff. Oh, 83, though. There's a check one. Let's see. 95, 95, and a 1969. Let's see if that is an E or an S. Oh, God, the mint mark on that one is so hard to see. Oh, this one is so well hard. I can really cannot tell what it is. It's like wore off right by the mint mark. Well, I'm going to put that one in the pile of S's just to check for it to see if it is. Okay, so these ones are the coppers. Only three NIFCs? Well, that's not bad, though. I know there was one box where we got, like, I think it was, like, eight or nine NIFCs. And no silver though. I know, like, I kind of got discouraged, I admit, because the first, ooh, a bit of hair. Because the first couple boxes that I got weren't really the greatest. But we, I got all excited because the first $100 that I bought, my mom found customer wrap rolls at a bank. And at first, like, we thought that was a bad thing. We didn't really know too much yet. And it ended up being amazing. There was literally, like, I think 10 silver in there or something. And then, yeah, and then after that, then I ordered a box, you know. I was like, oh, yeah, we're going to buy silver. And it was like, no, no, no. <laughs> But we found two silver yesterday. They're actually still sitting out right here because I haven't put them away yet. We found two silver and one on IFC. Only 40% is in 1967 and in 1969. I don't think I did. I will have to check it out. Because those are the silver that we found. And we found one on IFC. No, but I will definitely check that out, Baldigo. I don't think I've watched too many of your videos yet, so I will have to get on that. Like I said, I kind of like took a break from YouTube for a little bit. I don't know, life was getting kind of busy. It's, you know, summer. Let's see. $24.50 in value. That 14 silvers? What? Oh my god, amazing! Oh, I'd be so happy. That reminds me of my customer wrap rolls. I so wish I could get those again. Uh, or get lucky. Like, I, I remember one of Silver Seekers, literally, I just jumped on them for the stream and they found so many Benjis in one box. I was like, oh my gosh, why can't that happen to me? But I, I mean, he goes through multiple boxes in a night, so that might be why you gotta hit an amazing one every once in a while, right? 68, okay, that's a D. Oh, another 2009 commemorative again. This one is his what is this one? The home? I think it's called the, the Younger Years. It's the Homestead one. Yay! Yeah, this first one. How many boxes did you say you got? Two? Three? That one with the Link 2009 commemoratives. Yeah, I know, and it's hard. Like, don't get discouraged, right? Just keep on going. You got two? Okay, awesome. So you still got one more. Yeah, I think that might have something to do with it. You should probably order a whole bunch of them in a row because then your chances, I'm thinking, of getting something good would be greater rather than just one every once in a while, kind of like how I do. So I think next time, huh, I don't know, it's like $1,000, though, to get a, you know, two boxes. Ugh, that's a lot of money for me. I've got other things to pay for, like a mortgage and stuff like that, you know. So it's like, ah, uh, and we do a lot of fun things in the summer. So a lot of my money gets tied up in that stuff. I actually just spent my last 500 well, I mean, I got money in my savings, but my $500 cash right now on this, so I do got to go cash it in soon, because I think I'm down to only, like, I don't know, I don't know much of my checking. Do you like baseball? No, unfortunately, I do not. I honestly will be honest. I don't like sports too much. I like to play them, yes. I really don't like watching them, though, but I like to play. 84, but it's a really nasty one. You know, I do, I, I like to play any sport, basically. That's because, like, almost anything I've ever tried and practiced, I get pretty good at. They say that practice makes perfect, and I know that for sure. Like, I love playing basketball, volleyball. I played baseball when I was younger, like, with the neighborhood kids, but that was about it. I never got into it too much. Oh, is that Ness or D? I might have to use the magnifier on this one. And it's still really hard to tell what in the world that is. Okay, I'm going to put that one in the scope pile just in case. Because I can't quite tell what it is. You know, baseball, I don't know. I'm not, just not that big of a fan. Why, you got a baseball game you're going to soon? $4.50 
84D. 82D, that's another check. Check, check, check. And the last one is a 1966. It's a nasty one, but it's still going in there. It's a llama. Want to hear something funny? That's actually what I used to call my mom. I'm a Cubs season ticket holder. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, though. That is neat. That means you can go to, like, every single game if you want to, right? That's a Fortnite joke with my kids. It's a llama. Oh, okay. I, I don't know. Yeah, I used to call my mom llama. <laughs> llama llama. And then I actually love the llama llama books. I don't know if that's, like, where the llama thing came through with your kids. But yeah, llama llama books. I love those. Me and my kids love reading those books. Llama llama mad at mama. 83, that's a check. 14. Fortnite, yeah, we never got into playing that. I know a lot of people do though. 1992, that's a check too for the close AM. Yeah, me and my daughter actually got into playing old N64. Like, here's a really sad but true thing that happened. Okay, so my ex, like, he got really bad and this stuff. And we just found out that he actually took some of my daughter's things and sold them behind her back. Like, her old N64 with all the classic games that I collected over the past 10 years. Like, a lot of them are hard to get. You know, they still want, like, 50 bucks a piece for them. So I just recently bought her another one and replaced, like, most of the games she wanted. Almost all of them. So we've been playing old classic N64 a lot lately, like Pokemon Stadium. Oh, like I said, she's into Pokemon. So, yeah, and the original Mario Party and stuff like that. That's about the only games that I play now, though. Well, and of course, she's got a Nintendo Switch and Nintendo Wii U, so we play stuff on there. She's into, like, Mario Kart and Mario Party and stuff like that. So we have fun. Those are the only games I play anymore. Like I said, I used to have a gaming computer, and I had every single Sims expansion for Sims 3 out there. Every single one. Every, like, bought stuff from their online store and everything. And then my gaming computer got something went wrong with it. I think I got some sort of virus, and I didn't catch it soon enough, and it kind of, like, destroyed it. So, I don't know. I'm going to have my brother look at it, though, and see if maybe I can just... Because I want to upgrade it, too. Because I don't want to just buy... Like, it's like $1,000 for me to get the one that I want. So I'd almost rather just pay my brother to fix this one, like buy whatever I need on it, and then upgrade it too, because it's got only 8 gig RAM right now, but it can go up to 16, so I should upgrade that. Boop. 77, okay, that's a copper. Not any meaties, oh come on, let me find something good. So Fortnite, you can tell me a little bit about that because I've heard about it a lot and I don't even know, honestly, I don't even know like what kind of game it is or anything, but I should probably because people talk about it a lot and just because I don't play it doesn't mean I shouldn't be informed about it. Copper. 92, again, check for the close AM. Ooh, 69, let's see if that one's an S. I think it's a D. I like your voice. It's very soothing. Oh, thank you. I don't know. When I listen to it, I think I sound funny. But I don't know. That might be something everybody thinks about themselves. I know. I've always been like my worst critic. Put it that way. I can't tell. This one is going to have to be checked too with the scope. Okay. And these ones were all kappa. Kappa, kappa, right? Yep. Ooh, okay. First person king of the hill game. Oh, okay, so like you got, do you do like teams then and stuff? I'm thinking it's got to be online then too, right? And like we got into Minecraft a couple of years ago and then my daughter quit liking it so much. So we don't play that anymore. 1982D, that's a check one. Seventy-nine copper. Yeah, I used to really, really be big into gaming, but I'm not so much anymore. I don't know. I guess ever since I had more kids. One verse 100. Wow! Well, that's pretty cool. Whoever would take on the 100 would be insane. I guess so if you're like a pro at it. I don't know. Just want to let you know if I do all of a sudden like say goodbye quickly, it might be because somebody comes over. I've been getting a lot of phone calls that I've been having to deny 
So somebody might just show up like, why aren't you answering your phone? I doubt that will happen though, but it might. Just as a warning. A 78 copper will come on, ladies, where are you? We need another one to add to the pile. Like right now. <laughs> Come on, give me an oldie. I see a, a greenie in here. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it was so funny. Actually, when I was younger, me and my best friend Tammy, this is when I was like, you know, really, really young. Sounds good. Oh, really? Oh, thank you. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> And like I said, I'm my worst critic. Like I remember when I was young, me and Tammy would do our, we would do this little like, you know, with the old cassette tapes and we would do our own radio show. And we would like introduce the song. Okay, this is gonna be next. And then we would like hurry up and bring it over the radio and like record when our song, you know, came on that we wanted to put. So I don't know, maybe I was always meant to do this. I even wanted to do it as a little kid. I wish I still had those cassette tapes. It'd be so funny to listen to them. I wish I had them. You know, we're so, I remember we even like made up a dance and we're like, oh, maybe we'll get on TV and we can dance to the song. I can't remember which one it was either. I can like think of the beat, but I can't think of what the song's called. And I really hope to find another weedy. Just a lot of copper right now. 61, that's a D. Well, thank you for listening to me. You know, like I said, I don't know. I get weirded out when I listen to myself. I don't like going back and watching my live streams. I get kind of weirded out. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Or, oh, I didn't look great there. But that's okay. That's why I just don't watch them. Because like I said, I'm like my own worst critic. I know my mom right away, she wants to watch them. And I'm like, I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm like, get weirded out. <laughs> I used to get the same way too when me and Tammy would do our little radio station stuff when we were younger. I didn't like listening back to it. 69, D, not an S though. You're romantic, are you? <laughs> yeah, definitely. And all that cheesy, corny stuff. <laughs> totally though. That's the only thing that I miss about having like a boyfriend or a husband, you know, like that kind of stuff is all the cutesy stuff like the flowers, the cards. I do miss that stuff. But that's all right. I'll just have to pick some wildflowers out of my backyard and make a little bouquet for my house. I was actually thinking about that, but a lot of them are gone. Up. I had some really pretty daisies and stuff out there before. Oh, dropping penny. 1992, check for close AM again. Don't mind that I just keep saying this, but I know like other people might just watch parts of the stream and stuff later on, so I want to keep mentioning things. That's a gross one. Very, very gross. Can't even see the date. Yeah. Copper. Yes, I'm sure someone will. <laughs> will I accept them is the question, though. I don't know, like I said, I kind of got picky because I put up with a lot of crap for a lot of years with my husband off and on. Like, what we... Oh. The crap I went through with him, it just, it makes me really, really scared about things too. Like I have so many doubts about people because of that now. I guess it's just because I've seen like the worst of the worst and what I went through with him. I don't know, you probably don't know, but he almost killed me and that's why like we are no longer ever going to be together again because of what happened last time. And I mean, it was, it was scary. I'm, I'm lucky to be here. I'm lucky to be alive. I'm grateful to be alive. But it really made me wise up a little bit about like, the people I let into my life and what I deal with. But it also, I kind of like, I don't know, I don't even know there's a saying for that, but it kind of like hardened me a little bit and made me a little sour when it comes to dating, I guess, because I get so, I get scared like automatically. Like I pick up on red flags right away because I dealt with the addict for so long that it's like I can immediately like spot something out about someone and I'm just like, oh, red flag, run away, run away as fast as you can, and then I won't talk to them anymore. <laughs> so I definitely get a little scared about that stuff, especially in this small town, because you hear, like, I live in a small, small town. I think we're, like, 9,000 population. So you hear a lot about people. But it's also, like, you can't always believe everything you hear either. Well, still finding a lot of copper. No weedies yet. Come on, last time I said that it brought one on, so I'm hoping maybe mentioning it 
will help bring one. Yeah, I hope I, I hope I do find someone eventually. I don't know. It's kind of it's hard. It's like part of me just wants to live life and have fun for now because as soon as you get with something or someone, things get complicated and then you're like living by their rules in life too. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking too because this happened back in March. It was like the end of March. It was right before because Ashlyn's birthday is the 15th of April and I remember it happened like right before then. It, it was really, it was bad. It was really bad. I admit that. hair yeah I think it did it really kind of damaged me a little bit for sure like like I even noticed like if somebody like tries to like you know like grab me kind of like around the neck or something I freak out right away like I thought it was gonna be fine too like, I know I've been through a lot of stuff in my life a lot of really bad things and I always seem to like come out on top but like that one did it really affected me negatively <laughs> yes I'm still here can you believe it what am I on like an hour and 30 minutes or something like that I don't know I'm still going and I'm Getting down there in the bucket though. That's still heavy. But I'm getting down there. I think I found like two more wheat since you were gone. That's about it. So Mr. Dirty Nickels, not your surprise. I'm still here, hey? Yeah, well Cassidy is taking a nap right now because she's not feeling good still. So I figure I might as well do this. I do have to cut my grass, but I can do that tomorrow. So 1992. I keep finding those ones. I'm hoping. Man, bring me the luck. Yep, I'm still going. I'm still going. Just kind of chatting, hanging out, like I said. I don't know. I don't have much going on today. Well, actually, I should. I keep getting phone calls, but I'm not answering them. Oops. Ooh, this is a 1968 S, and it's black. Black, black. I don't know if there's anything special about that one, but I will put it in the S pile to check. Yeah, a couple hours at least. Okay, so is that like, is that one hour and 30? No, it might be 131 minutes. I think that's what that stands for. Yeah, so that would be like two hours. Holy moly. I'm still going. Can you believe it? Dr. Bald Eagle assisting the dating karma. <laughs> I know, right? Ah. Yep, thrown back into that pool. Uh. Yeah, I think it's best to just kind of stay off. Like maybe go out on dates, but not actually date anyone for quite a long, long time. But it makes it really hard too because I notice that like a lot of times it's either like they just want to try to get in your pants and then when you don't let that happen then they're like forget you and or they just want to be with you right away and I'm like I'm not ready to commit to something like that oh, I'm finding a lot of copper copper I'm just not I get too scared I don't know after after you've gone through some like really crazy domestic violence like you just it changes your attitude towards things it truly does there's another 83 check one 81 80 copper copper 76 84 so we've got a check 84 and a 76 copper just wait that's a D okay cool oh I know I'm gonna have to get going a little bit though because like I said all I literally ate today was one pickle and I'm getting pretty hungry it is now like three in the afternoon almost almost we're at like 256 I was hoping I would get through all these, but it's hard to go fast when you're chit-chatting and stuff, so. Oh, well, I'm having fun doing it, though. That's all that matters. 1980, I don't know, it looks red. Oh, I know. I hope so, too. I really hope so. Someday. Someday I will be happy and in love and all magical. I, don't, I definitely don't want to be alone for the rest of my life. I will say that, because I like having a partner and stuff, but it is. It's hard. It's hard. There's not... Especially when you're in your 30s, there's not many options left. <laughs> and most of the ones that there are options left, there's for a reason. And then you get to find that out. Like, second date, you're like, oh, so that's why you're single. Three quarters box. Is that your second box now that you're on? One I have, NIFC, no silver. That's uh, a little disappointing. I hate when you don't find any silver. That's why I was excited that we actually found silver in the last one. I was so surprised. Because, like, my first couple boxes were just, nah. nothing, nothing, nothing. 68. Oh, you're still on your first? Okay, cool. Oh, so you found one more NIFC? Well, that's cool. I mean, I know, it's not the coolest because you'd like to find silver. Silver, silver. Let's see. No, 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 no. 94, 90, and a really nasty, moldy-looking one. I'm glad I have gloves on. Drop the coins down. First, 
nine NFC. Oh, so you found nine altogether so far? Though no, that's not bad. That's like that one. We found a lot of NIFC in it too. Let's see, there we go. Get another little stack. Well, that is awesome though. Yeah, I really hope, I know, I will find someone eventually. Like I, I have been dating, but it's been proving to have its difficulties. <laughs> Oh my gosh, would you rather meet somewhere? Like, see, there's somebody right now that I keep getting little messages popping up on my phone that wants to hang out. Uh, I'm like, <laughs> you hear that sound? <laughs> Obviously, I guess I'm not super duper excited about that one. I don't know. Let's see, this is a 1971S. It is dirty and toned, though, but we will put that in the S pile. Look at all. Tone that is it's 1971 S. Woo! Where's my S pile? There it is. I think that's it. Right? Yes. Okay, that's it. That one's so toned and weird looking though. Yeah, somebody wants to hang out right now. Right now. And they're like, nope, I'm live streaming. Sorry, my coins are more important. <laughs> that sounded so rude. I shouldn't have said that. I don't know, I guess that, that's one of those guys that was like, oh, I'm going to talk to you and hang out, and then, oh, I won't talk to you for a couple weeks, oh, you want to hang out again, and I was like, eh, I don't know, I even just told him that, he was like, I don't know about you, honestly. Here, I want to date with you right now, yeah, we're <laughs> live stream, oh, well, you're not live streaming, but you're going through coins, though, coin roll hunting together, <laughs> My air conditioner just shut off again. I heard the little click go off in the power strip. Uh, maybe I'm gonna have to take it apart and look at it. I don't want to though, it's so much work. Uh, I don't wanna take it out. That was the one that was hard for me to get in. I'm like, uh, I don't want to feel strong enough today. <laughs> I just don't understand why it keeps shutting off. 84, that's a check for the double die on the ears. 1982D, way me, way me. Oh, no, I think it is still going. Don't mind me, sorry, I'm just like, I my air conditioner. How's the filter? Oh, I did, I cleaned the filter. I cleaned, I cleaned all, I have four air conditioners and I did clean all four of them. All four of the, nope, there it goes. It just clicked, it was a warning tink. Yep, I just went, what is it set for? I have it on low, but I do have it, I have it on low, but I have the thing set all the way to 10. So should I maybe set it to medium and set it down more like to a five or something? Yeah, this one's not a cool one where it's got like the, I know like upstairs I have one where I can set an actual temperature on it, but this one is just like the high, medium, low, and then the one through 10. So if I should change the way I have it set up, let me know because there's no reason it should be clunking out on me. I mean, it's not even that warm outside today. 82, not a D though. How does the outside look? Um, well, we could go take a little trip outside. I'm not sure. I really haven't paid attention to it. Sorry, sometimes I look down at the iPad to read the comments because on my phone they just disappear in a little bit and I gotta click on it. So, um, I'm not sure the outside, and it was pretty clean though. Like, you mean like the outside, like the back where all the little metal weird little frillies are? Because it doesn't look bad. It didn't look bad when I put it out there. Hopefully there's not something yucky stuck in there. <laughs> More pennies. So funny. I'm blowing off people so I can coin roll hunt. <laughs> it's so funny too because at the one bank now, they call me the half dollar lady. <laughs> And it was so funny because I'm pretty sure this was like the owner or something and he was so surprised to see that it was like me that was the half dollar lady. He's like, oh, the condenser coil part. Okay, well, I learned something new. Yes, I didn't know about that. Um, I don't know. I think it looks okay. But maybe once I'm done with this, I'll go walk over there and bring these with me. You can check it out. <laughs> Stizzo ends her live stream with the air conditioning unit. <laughs> Hey, I'm always down for a little help, especially if people got like ideas and stuff and considering you do that for your business. Yeah. 
Have you found anything good? Yes, I have. Um, I've got about 11 Canadian. I've got four of the bicent or yeah, the bicentennial commemorative Lincoln ones. Um, I got a whole stack of checks. I got a. Um, we did find an Indian head. This was before I went live, though. But I wanted to show this. Found that, and that's what made me decide I was going to go live because I found that when I was hunting. It's a 18. I keep forgetting 1882. Found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Wheaties. Yeah, this isn't like a box. This was the leftover of my change that I got for my birthday present. So we are going through that. Half dollar ladies make the coin world go round. <laughs> In my queen voice. <laughs> the evaporator coil is the internal part that gets cold and the outside is what dissipates the heat. Oh, okay. Sweet, I love learning things. Nice 1800 pills. I know, I know. I looked at them, it's worth like seven bucks. I was so surprised. I've never found like something that cool. But like the, this is 15 years worth of change right here. So that would probably be why it got, got lucky. 84, that's a check one. Yeah, I haven't found a weedy in a little bit now. So I'm really hoping another one comes. That's a D, 69D. Copper. I know, the 1800s, oh, that was so exciting. I've never found an Indian head in pennies ever before either, so it was super exciting. Oh, copper, I know, come on, give me another VD. I'm ready for one, it's been a little while now. I know, I can't believe this stupid air conditioner keeps shutting off. Like I said, it doesn't make sense because it's not even that hot outside at all. But it's still warm in my house. I'm making it hot in here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dan Makita just died. Sad day for hockey. Oh no! Oh, I have to call my like old best friend from Green Bay. His name is Petey. He is super duper into hockey, so I'll have to call him and tell him that. I'm sure he already knows though. But I can be like, I know something about hockey. <laughs> He'll be all like, How did you know that? Thanks to my live stream and Bald Eagle 1908. <laughs> do, 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 do. Just stacking them up. I like them to be stacked in my hand for going through. Oh, and I'm already like getting warm. That's because I'm. So, I, I admit I'm hungry. I need to make something to eat like really, really, really bad. And I got some shrimp that need to be cooked. Wow, that 2013D is like super shiny. Wow. I might actually set this one to the side. I'm like, no, don't drop it. Don't ding it up. It's only got like, uh, it's got like two dings on it. But that's it. I think I'm just going to save it because it's like super shiny. Looks like in perfect condition, basically. Oh, I don't even want to set it because my table is like real wood and then real stone. I love that you can set hot pans like right on it. Ah! So I'm going to put that on the wood part. 75 copper come on give me something good i haven't found anything very good in a while now we need a weedy we need a weedy come on give me something good to show off 1992 well there's another check one and another copper oh i am my stomach's even growling and this is like burp, burp. please me 3D. Another copper, copper, 67, 72. Okay, I'm not going to be able to stay on too much longer because I'm, I'm getting very, very, very hungry. My stomach is starving. So, 1971, 1973, lots more copper. Okay, I think I'm just going to do one more, like, big stack in my hand and then I'm going to get going because I need to eat. I'm very, very, very hungry. I don't want to disappear. No. <laughs> How much did I get? Okay, that's a pretty good stack. I'll go through these and then I'm going to call it a day for now. Maybe I'll come back on later, but I have a feeling I'm going to be video gaming with Cass later. I'm going to get our Mario Kart on. Get them organized. Okay, this is the last stack I'm going through. Ah, oh, it's stuck to the glove. I don't want to drop them. <laughs> so, last one. So, let's see. Come on, give me one weedy for the end. Well, we got a copper. All right, let's see, 97, 93. Copper, come on, give me something good. I need to get going. I need to eat, 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 eat. 
apples and bananas. <laughs> go two more stack and I finish my, okay, okay, I'll go two more. I'll do that for you, that's not a problem. I can wait a little bit longer. Three, that's our check one. We've got 76, 81, copper, copper. Yeah, I'm not finding anything other than copper anyways, and I wanted to end on a good note. So we want to end with a weedy. With a weedy. Go two more stacks. Okay, I'm going. Yep, we'll do it. We'll do it. I'm getting to that point of like, oh, I'm starving. I'm starving. My tummy is so hungry. Okay, boop, nothing in that one. Well, we got some copper, but that's about it. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Oh yeah, I want to make. Okay, so I got this new editing app thing, and it like lets me put like it's like gift gab or something like that. But it lets me like put you know like my face on like funny little animations and stuff. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I'm gonna make a super mom video. Like I already started like planning it. My friend Joey came over last night and I was showing him about it. And I was like, isn't this so funny? He's like, oh my god, you're gonna make like the best video ever. And I can't wait to do it because I want it to be a really funny, goofy one. Well, because it's true. Like man, being a single mom and like trying to like conquer all these things, like a big house, big yard, like that one rap song. Five cars and rent charge. I don't know if you guys ever knew that song, but yeah, it just reminds me of that. But I want to make it funny, and it's got to show like because they have one of like a lady like cutting the grass, and then one of like somebody like doing dishes or vacuuming or something. I'm so making a funny, funny video about that, and then it's got like a superwoman flying through the air. So yeah, I'm gonna totally, totally do that, and I cannot wait. It should be funny. It's gonna take me forever though, because I just got this app, so I gotta learn how to work it and do everything right, and then I gotta be able to like put it into, like I'll make something on there and then add it. I don't know, it's really weird, the whole editing thing and figuring out how to do like different things. And I'm not sure on like the copyrights on that, so I just try to, like, last time I used it on this app, but the other one I put like a little thing at the bottom. And I'm not sure how I'm supposed to do that, so I gotta look that up right to see like if you use a program for your editing, if you have to accredit them or not. So I just put on the bottom of my last description like what apps I use because I'm not quite sure how that works. Like I know they're really um, uptight about the music that you use and like accrediting the people for that and like saying that you don't own it and stuff like that. But I'm not sure about the apps you use for editing. So if anybody ever knows any of that, let me know too because I'm not quite sure how that one works. Because I'm having fun with the editing and I don't want to stop. 1983D. Okay, well, I'm almost down to my second stack. How are you doing over there, bald eagle? Are you getting down there too? Because I will do one more stack if we need to. And then fingers crossed, I hope you find a silver. Silver, silver, come on, silver. Three rolls left. Okay, I'll do a couple more rolls with you. That's okay, like I said, I am hungry, but it's not like to the point of absolute starvation. <laughs> I did eat a pickle this morning, huh? 75, we got a copper, three rolls left. Okay, yep, we're, we're totally doing this. We will finish out our rolls together. Got more copper for the pile. Oops, slide it to the hand. No, I actually haven't gone metal detecting lately. Insane amount of NIFC. Oh, that's cool, though. I mean, I know the NIFCs aren't, like, the most exciting thing, but it's still cool to have them. I know, like, I got quite a big stack of NIFCs now. I, I don't know. Especially if they're in really good condition. So I did read that if they are, like, dinged up really bad and stuff, that they're not really going to be worth much, at least not now. But I figure if you hold on to them for a long time, and then, like, 50 years from now, they might be worth a lot of money. Ready for Ooh. Oh, D. D. Well, come on, Silver, for Bald Eagle. Come on, Silver. And then come on, Wheaties. An Indian head, Indian head for me. <laughs> 90. Let's see, we got a 96. At least you're finding NIFCs. Like, there's nothing worse than not even finding NIFCs in a box of half dollars. And you're like, man, this whole thing was just skunked. And I never heard that saying until like the coin rolling community either. <laughs> I remember the first time my mom said that, she's like, that's what they call it when you don't find anything. And I was like, really? Maybe I should make a video about coin roll hunting terms. That's what I should do. 
because new people don't really know what that means. I remember there's some lady too who's like, I'm new and I don't really understand like the free giveaways and stuff like that. Oh, I should mention that in this video too, that I do have a free giveaway for reaching 100 subscribers. I will leave a link. It will be over there. I'll have to remember this time at 149 minutes and 36 seconds. So if you would like to get in on that, you have to be subscribed to me and like my video and you have to comment because that's how the winner will be picked is through comments. So if anybody that watches this would like to sign up, make sure you click that little link. I will have a description at the bottom too of like if you open the description, it's like a little upside down arrow. You click on that and I will have links. Like I will edit this video after I'm done doing this. So I will edit it and there will be links to like my page, my mom's page, or I should say page, my channel, my mom's channel, and also links to my giveaway video and other like live videos and stuff that I've done. 14 NIFC no silver. Are you finished now? That's a bummer. I'm sorry you didn't find any silver. Mm. Sad face. But 14 NIFC, that's pretty good. That's more than what we found when we didn't find any silver. So 82, but not a D. 83, that's a check. Check, check, check. Yep, you're all done. Okay, sweet. So you're all done. Okay. Well, I gotta, I forgot to say this during my video. So make sure you click the like button and subscribe to me. Thank you. I will have a nice dinner. Yes, thank you all for watching. Um, if anybody is on social media anywhere, like you can always share mine my videos. I wouldn't mind. I would greatly appreciate it. And like I said, always make sure you smash that like button. Click subscribe. If you'd like to, click the little notification bell next to the subscribe button because then you will be able to see and be notified when I release new videos. So there's that part of that, the little info. Yep. So everyone, I hope you have a good and amazing afternoon and night. I'm just going to look at these last. I got like three left. Three pennies to go through because then, yeah, I need to eat some. I'm starving. This girl needs some food. And nothing. Okay, so we got the copy here. So thank you all for watching. Bye. Thank you, Peter, for sticking around and watching. You were here like basically the whole time. Thank you so much. Oh, I love it. Oh, bye, Bald Eagle. Bye. Have fun in Chicago. Um, and WB Treasure Hunters, bye. Have a good afternoon. Royce Blackmer, you still on stream. I am ending it right now. I am just saying goodbye. So thank you for stopping back, though. Yep, I am ending it. I am going to say good night. Oh, I guess not really that. Good afternoon. Good evening. Can you stab me in the belly button? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I'm a little confused by that comment, but okay. Belly button. <laughs> Boop. Okay, well, thank you all for watching again. Click like, subscribe, share my videos through your social media, Facebook, Twitter, wherever, whatever you are on. I'm not sure what they all are because I don't have all of them, but if you're on something cool, share it, share it, share it for me. I'm a new channel, so I am trying to spread the word. Um, I do eventually want to start um, doing like the coin roll hunting with the little game where like you will automatically win a prize if you donate money to me, and I'm thinking about doing it with like a theme every time where we dress up for something cool to kind of make it fun and interesting and a little different. So, um, Peace, love, and happiness. Stay great, people. I love you all. Thank you for watching.